it's not even like worth or it's worth a lot but I'm saying it's like it doesn't really look like anything <laughs> it's just a coupon um, but I got it I got it I thought this was also another one I was like no way but yeah got it ah oh, so nice so nice I got a black bag coupon Hold on, let me change my category um yeah so I got a super rare item hee <laughs> hee 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 I felt good. I went to Disney and Universal in 2011 uh, with my high school marching band. Oh my god, I bet that was a lot of fun. Oh man, talk about it being so different from 2011. I wonder what it was like back then. Because like now there's like Genie Plus and I don't know. It seems like it would be like a little bit more just different. <laughs> um, also, I decorated my homestead because I want to do a Valentine's theme fashion show um, in Mabinogi. Uh, but this is a good, oh my god. What's so cool is that me, Orca, and FN are going to be the, the judges. I say, I don't know why I put that in air quotes, but we're going to be the judges. And we'll have like first, second, third place uh, winners. But uh, yeah, I think I'd probably take this off right now. But yeah, so we're gonna have a cute little Valentine fashion show, and I think this looks so good. Uh, it looks really good at night. I mean, it's turning daytime now, but um, I think it looks really good at night and during the day, so whatever time it is in the game, it doesn't matter, but I think this looks really nice. <laughs> you best to let me borrow some of the um, cherry blossom trees. Uh, and the lights, and the literally everything, actually. Um, she let me borrow all of it so that um, we can use it for my homestead. Uh, hi, Ty. Good morning. Yeah, 4 p.m. my time. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for checking up on that. Came out really well. I think so, too. There is one item I really want. Uh, Orca got it yesterday. Um, but there is this, like... Oh, what was it called again? I don't know if he's awake yet, um, but he said he was gonna let me uh, borrow it. Uh, but it's like a, it's it's like an eye. Oh, that's called the wedding aisle. It's a wedding aisle. So basically, it's just like um, white fabric with some flowers on the side. So we're gonna. I think I need one more because I think this might be too long for just one. Uh, but I want to put that right here, so then it's like a, like an aisle. Ooh, I don't know, I think it's going to look so good. I'm so excited. Um, I just have to like post everything. Everything's pretty much done. I got the graphic done. Um, I think what we're going to do for this one is just have, um, like gold as the prize. Because I couldn't really think of any items. To use for the prize for a fashion show obviously you would think clothing right but I couldn't figure out what to choose <laughs> I don't know if y'all can think of an I idea let me know but I figured gold is best because you can do anything with gold right you can buy outfits with gold you can buy I don't know, stuff for increasing the stats on your gear. I don't know, literally anything. It's money. It looks lovely, thank you. I also like the, the cherry blossom petals. They're like falling, I don't know. It's like a nice effect. Cute, this game is so cute. I've also been uh, going hard with like leveling up my homestead. I bought this, I didn't realize that Yin was teaching me about this, but there's like this uh, homestead, oh, I forgot what it's called, homestead, uh, cash off, I don't know, it's basically a cash off item, but I could buy it on the auction house for like five mil or something, and, uh, I bought it, and it basically gives you 30 homestead stones a day for like 30, 30 days or something, um, and that's what I've been struggling on, like, struggling with the most, is like all my homestead stones, you have to like, have homes that so it's even like plant stuff to even level it up so anyways long story short I bought that oh shoot oh you have the aisle oh shoot I think this is a, a little bit too much 
Do you want me? Oh goodness, I guess we could see what all this looks like and use it to decorate. Aw, oh, thank you, Ty. Oh my god, you have the aisle. Perfect, let me show them. I will give these back. <laughs> Don't worry. Um, okay. Use. Oh my god, this is... Yes! Look at it! Oh darn it, I'm definitely gonna need more than two. <laughs> I, for some reason, I thought it was bigger. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna need... How many do you think? Four? Three? Maybe three? Oh my god, see I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have this go all the way down. <laughs> what game is this? It's called Mabnogi. It's an MMO. Oh my god, this looks so good! Oh my goodness! But I need more now. <laughs> I thought two would be enough. Uh, let's see, can I, let's see, let's see if I can try to figure out how many. Okay, so one, Two, two, three. Oh, I think I just need, I just need three. Uh, I need to figure out where, where they are. <laughs> uh, Orca bought one on the auction house and there was only one up on the auction house. Let's see, homestead, wedding aisle. Maybe somebody else put one up. No, darn, there's no other ones. Shoot! What do these look like? Wedding chairs? Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Okay, wedding chair, a champagne tower. Oh! I don't want them to, I don't want people to think this is all wedding theme, but this is really cute for Valentine's. You found this wedding stuff at a shop for 200 gold each? What? 200 gold? That's a, that's really good. What's this look like? Whoa. New Year's rice cake. Oh, cute. Okay, all right, got it, got it, got it. Cool, thank you. I'll, I'll give all these, oops, I'll give these items back to you because I don't, I don't, I don't want to keep them. Um, this is only, I'm going to give all this stuff back after the event is done. You can keep them. Are you sure? <laughs> <clears throat> well, thank you, Ty. I don't mind giving them back though. If you ever like, are like, I actually would like that. Then you can be like, I can be like, okay, here you go. Oh no, my VIP is done. <laughs> No, can you buy VIP off like the auction house chat? Is that a thing? <clears throat> you know, it doesn't that a thing in like wow. Dang it, you can't do that. Oh, my VIP is ended. Alas, it couldn't have lasted forever. Um, Orca, Ty, Ty said that they found all of this wedding stuff in a shop for two hundred gold each. So we have, we have uh, one aisle. I think we need three though, unfortunately. I thought we only needed two, but it's not long enough. So we'll have to find for, we'll have to find one more. You can buy WoW tokens on the auction house. They're just super expensive, right? Darn, too bad that's not a thing. Too bad you can't just like, I don't know, have that as an option, I guess. Hi, Jibro, thank you for the raid, hi. How are you doing today? Hello, hold on, let me get you a shout out. How was your stream? Did you play Mabinogi on your, sh on your stream? Your first raid and you chose me? Well, that was sweet, thank you. I'm currently uh, in the process of decorating my homestead for the fashion show I wanna do. <laughs> we're discussing, we're discussing de decorations. Mainly this, mainly this thing. I need to find one more. If you see one more, if you see somebody selling one, please let me know. I think we just need one more. Um, Orca, are you on Mabby? Are you on Mabby? Hi, Ronnie. <laughs> yes, 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 raid. I guess that's the message. <laughs> it's okay, I don't, I don't normally have like a raid message when I raid people either. I just say, hi. <laughs> 
tell everybody, go say hi and follow. <clears throat> you don't have fall, I'd say, but yeah, it went pretty all right. Just need to set up things. Well, cool, how exciting. Congrats on your first stream. Maybe, wanna come to me and give me the other wedding aisle so I can plop that down? Plop that bad boy down? <clears throat> Didn't expect to stream for seven hours. I know, right? You just like get so caught up and then you're like, oh, dang. But that's a lot, seven hours for your first stream? Dang, I didn't do that. I think I streamed for like 30 minutes <laughs> or something really short. I was like, I am intimidated, goodbye. <laughs> I was, uh, when I first started streaming, I literally was like, um, very uncomfortable, very shy, very, very rarely spoke. Um, and if I spoke, it was to like my friends that were watching. <laughs> um, even then, I think I preferred just like typing to them. And that was like when I played Final Fantasy XIV, so it was just easy because we're all in the same guild together. I did two hours and I was dead tired. Yeah, it's a lot. You have to work up to it. Unless, unless you're like a like a god, god of streaming, then then you do you. Oh, it was a test stream. But why are you giving me fish? <laughs> Stop cleaning your inventory when you give me things. Oh, I'll take those. <laughs> test of seven hours. Yeah, that's a pretty big test. <laughs> I definitely took a couple breaks in between. Good, I'm very glad. That's definitely necessary if you're gonna stream for that long. Otherwise, you don't want to burn yourself out. Okay. But I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad it was good. I'm assuming it was good. <laughs> it was seven hours. Wow, look at it. Orca, look at it. Look at Did you leave? No, look at it. Oh, wait, here. Should we do a test? Hold on, hold on. Go behind Go behind the, the wooden thing. All right. Whenever you're ready, give us your best runway walk with three poses. <laughs> Why are you naked? <laughs> ah, I see. He's going for the single mingling uh, uh, Valentine theme, you know. <laughs> don't have to worry about what you wear. You just don't care. <laughs> What kind of fashion show is this? <laughs> All right, Rhea. This is this is in preparation. Okay, we're just having fun right now. <laughs> this is so cute. Uh, is this is this your homestead? Currently, yes. I I have it set up for. I want to do a Valentine fashion show. Uh, what day is it? It's the thirty first. What next week? Week next weekend, not this coming weekend, but next weekend, the weekend before Valentine's Day. Basically, I want to have a fashion show. Everybody's invited, by the way. If you if you would like, um, I'll have I'll post more information soon. But basically, uh, it probably will be on the tenth, <clears throat> which is a Saturday. I normally don't stream on Saturdays, but I'm gonna stream that Saturday because the next day I wanted to do it on the Sunday, but then I realized that's Super Bowl, and. Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to have an event on Super Bowl, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I'm also going to be hosting a party anyway, so I kind of want that day off to get prepared. But anyways, February 10th is what I'm planning. I'm not sure exactly timing yet, but yeah, we're going to have a Valentine's theme uh, fashion show. I'll have reward, uh, awards for the first, second, and third place winner. Orca, me, and FN are going to be the judges. And then it's just up to whoever wants to join to join. But I think this is great. I had a lot of help from my guild figuring out how to decorate this. A lot of items uh, I'm borrowing because <laughs> I do not have, I think I only had like two cherry blossom trees uh, and then none of this other stuff. I think I had one lantern. <laughs> so this is nice. Thank you guys for letting me borrow stuff by the way. Where's Yvesse? Oh, she's working. really like how it's turning out. Thanks. It's really pretty at night. 
Orca is the person that crashes the show and runs on stage. <laughs> we got we got somebody on the stage. Get him off. Should we should we have people dressed up in like security outfits? <laughs> we're gonna have we're gonna have a band that's gonna be playing and be and give like the ambiance and play music while the fashion show is going on. I think that's so cute. So cute. Um but yeah, maybe we can have some bodyguards. Maybe people can dress up as bodyguards and just stand by the door, like right here, <laughs> just to make sure we don't have a ruckus. Oh, oh, work it, work it, Ty, work it. Hold on, let me sit, go, 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 work it. <laughs> uh, Orca, sit. This seat, the seat sits three, that's why we put this here. <laughs> This is so cute. I love this game. I love what you can do. Oh, you have to sit uh, uh, s <laughs> no, Don't sit like that sit like do the rest skill like right here orca, and then you can choose um, a spot <laughs> I think this side Number three plays like an instrument and then this one like lets you sit like this with your legs in the air um over here, Orca. Where? Behind me. Behind me. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. <clears throat> He'll get this eventually. Uh, if you need more of the little flower lights, I have a ton. Aw, thank you! My spot is taken. Oh, there you go. Whoa, yours looks so different from Yvesu. Yvesu... When, I guess when you're a girl, you do this. But I guess guys, like, late, that's cool. I'm taking a nap. Do the do the third one. Show everybody what the third one looks like. Wow, I, I didn't realize male and female have different, like, sitting options. Yeah, that one's cute. This one, you're just, like, playing music. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to have me, Effin, and Orca sit here and... and have people go down the, the runway with music. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm excited. I hope people show up. <laughs> That's probably the, the hardest part is, is actually having people show up for your event. Uh, you can set it up and make it as cool as possible, but if people are busy, they're busy, man. And that's okay. I can record. What do you mean you can record? Oh. <laughs> are you gonna record the event? <laughs> okay. We gotta have this on national Mabby news. He has to be in your party. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Did he have to be in the party? No, he didn't have to be in the party. That dab. I meant to go like this, not the dab. <laughs> Work it. <laughs> Who are we wearing? <laughs> I think it would be so cute, the people that, um want to join the fashion show give me like a little snippet behind their inspiration for their their piece obviously they don't have to but I think that would be kind of cool what I would love to do is like maybe give people ideas because Valentine is so open-ended right like you could dress up as like no just like cute like pink pink red white like the traditional colors um, I think there's a lot of super cute outfits in um see see the female one is different orca's laying down and and she's oh she goes like this oh that's so cute okay um but there's like some valentine's outfits like where you like i i only know this because one person in my guild has this cutest outfit but basically it's like an idol animation and she like holds like a box of chocolates out and I think that's super cute. Um, you could also go as a couple and do like a couple themed outfit. Like either you wear like the same clothing and it's like a couple outfit. Um, they do that a lot. And like when I went to South Korea, I saw that a lot. And I thought that was really cute. Um, or you could go as like, I don't know, like a couple. Like for lack of a better um, example, but... Um, you, in this game, they did a collab with Sword Art Online. You could go as Asuna and Kirito. That would be cute. 
I want to give I want to try to give people as many ideas as possible so it's easier coming up with an outfit idea uh, but I think that would be so cute I don't know you can also go as like uh, one we, we were gonna have categories but I thought that was just gonna complicate things um, uh, we were coming up with categories of what people could be like they could dress up as like a Valentine's gift So you could be like you could dress up as chocolate or something. I don't know or or a, um, I don't know a bottle of champagne. You can be as creative as you want, right? Um, and then the other category was um, All the Mabby singles we were trying to like theme it towards like all the single ladies But we don't obviously want to exclude it to just ladies. So we changed it to Mabby singles so you could dress up I don't know have however you perceive single life is like I don't know It's just just Valentine's theme. It's just for fun Pajamas yeah pajamas Yvesu said that she would look like a rich lady <laughs> Because she doesn't have to spend any money on anybody but herself. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Hi, Jai. Good morning. But then, like, I kind of like, if they do, if people do, like, really, like, unique things, I would love for them to teach, like, tell me, like, what their inspiration was behind their Valentine fashion. Anyways, I get really, sorry, I get really into events like this because I think this stuff is, like, the funnest. I don't know. I just think this is, this is, like, my calling. I feel like in another life I was an event manager for something else. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maybe event planner. But I do, I love doing like events in real life too. And parties and stuff. Even though I'm, I, I'm terrified of being a host in real life. <clears throat> One good example is I... One thing I really loved when I was helping my sister plan, like she wanted to do a gender reveal party and she just let me choose whatever I wanted to do. So I did a medieval themed, <laughs> I did a medieval themed gender reveal party. It was like the highlight I feel of any like planning I've done in a while. But um, it was uh, like lords and ladies and we all, it was kind of like, uh, I, I dressed up in, uh, I forgot what the outfit was called, but it's just like a bar maiden or whatever, like the, those kind of outfits. I dressed up and then we, we made everything look kind of like a medieval fair inside and it was really pretty. And then the food was kind of like, like charcuterie set. And then I got this really interesting puzzle box. It's like, it's literally a puzzle box. Like, kind of like if you've ever been to an escape room, uh, it's kind of like you had to solve and figure out the different ways to solve this puzzle. And like the, the way you know that you solve the puzzle is when you take, and it was themed, it was Excalibur themed. So basically you take the sword out of the stone or sword out of the box. And then that means that you won. And then when they did that, when they took out the sword out of the box, I had painted pink or blue on it. Then that would basically be how they reveal the gender. Um, but it was a lot of fun. I like that stuff. So doing this kind of stuff too is like up my alley. I love I love planning events like this. This is so fun. Make sure people turn on their equipment view so you can peek at the pieces. <gasps> That's such a good idea, Ronnie. Cause then I can be like, oh, they're sporting a uh, the blah, blah, blah. I don't even know all the outfits in the game. So that's actually really helpful. Thanks for that. Oh, that's a good idea. But anyways, thank you, Orca. Kylie's event planning coming soon. <laughs> I would be really good at it if I had more confidence. Like real life stuff. Did you have people jousting as well? No. <laughs> Joust. I had, uh, I did, the the puzzle box was kind of like a two-piece set kind of thing. Like, uh, in order to start the box, first they had to solve the riddles. And I had, like, several, there was, like, six pieces that you needed to find around the house before you can even start on, the, like, the little puzzle box. Um, so I had riddles of, like, to find each of those and they did so well I was nervous that I made them too difficult nope my family's a genius they knew like almost immediately where some of them were I was very impressed um, uh, they did have some trouble with the puzzle box 
but I was sitting there next to them and if they needed some like hints or like a direct like direction like they could ask me because I obviously the worst thing would be that they get stuck and nobody knows what to do and then we can't reveal the, the gender which is the whole point of the party <laughs> but I had solved it um, a couple of days before so I knew how to I knew how to do it so in case they got stuck I could help them they only got stuck once and that was just because it was I don't know a little a little janky not gonna lie there was one part that was a little janky but it was fun anyways back to the fashion show this is what we're gonna do I don't know I don't know how to do prizes though what's a good amount of money that people would want to come I don't mind spending all of my money on this event. I have, currently I have uh, 31 mil. So we can split that up between first, second, and third place. I think uh, we can just use all of the gold that I have. And then first, second. The problem is figuring out how to determine who wins. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be really difficult. Um, and that's why I'm going to be relying on Orca and FN because... I'm gonna feel horrible for not picking somebody. Five million donated to charity in the winner's name. <laughs> you wanna do that? We can donate. There actually is that charity. Also, I like your owl, Orca. <clears throat> it's not really charity. Well, it is charity. It's that church. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god. Help a, help a newbie in need. Oh my god, look, see, look how pretty it is at night, guys. Look how pretty, like the, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I love it. And we just had this. You're probably like, why do you have this? Okay, so I wanted people that were going to come to make their outfit be a surprise. So they come without their outfit on. So what they would do is, like, say they want to, like, they had the outfit in here because they wanted it to be a surprise, right? And they just sit here and they change blah 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 they change here because when they walk I can't see them until they go here right I can only see their name so so they can change here da, 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 and then they they get ready and they start and they walk or I can't RP walk there we go RP walk down the aisle cool you don't have to bankrupt yourself no I know but I want I want it to be I don't know enough for people to want to join you know, they're gonna have to sit here and wait. Also, I don't know if I should cap the amount of people that come. Just for the fashion, Mabby, so any gold prize makes people super happy. It could always say it's chat's job and put a, put a poll up. Oh, that's not a bad idea. And then we could have like judges favorites or something, like our personal favorites. That's actually a really cool idea. Ooh, I like that. Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> Take the hard decision away from me and give it to you guys. <laughs> uh, and then I thought of something super small and super cute I'll do for actually val actual Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is on a Wednesday. I would do this on a Wednesday. However, I stream uh, from 9 to 4 and most people don't get off work until 4 or later. So I definitely didn't want to do this on a weekday, hence why I want to do it on the Saturday before Valentine's Day. But maybe it'll get y'all in the festive spirit, or at least, I don't know. I don't know. I just remember the days where events and holidays, or holidays were a bigger thing when I was like in school, right? Because like the teachers and like my, my family would just, I don't know, do cute little things. So maybe this can make y'all feel that way too in some way, shape, or form somehow. I've helped with a ton of fashion shows and even hosted my own, so if you need any technical help on it, I'm available. Thanks, Ronnie! We all know behind any good plan, there's like logistics and, and like a lot of thinking behind it, so that's honestly the hardest part is the logistics of like, how will this work? How many people have like shown up to like uh, other fashion shows before? Should, did y'all ever have to like limit it? <clears throat> like limit the amount of people because otherwise it, it would just be really long <laughs> I don't know what I don't know how many is too long I also don't know how I would limit it uh oh wait let me go finish hold on let me go finish my daily quest real quick get that out of the way 
ends up to, I think, around 30. Yeah, that's actually the number I was thinking of. I was like, I feel like 30 is a lot. <laughs> I feel like 30 is a pretty good number. I asked RC yesterday, because I didn't know how else to find this answer, um, if there was like a limit to how many people can be in a homestead. I don't think it, uh, it would ever get that big, but um, I don't know. She says it's like 50 plus. So I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. I tried to look it up on the wiki and it didn't tell me. 30 is a lot though. <clears throat> you should sign, create a sign up sheet of sorts. That way you have a way to organize the people that, that uh, of people that walk down. That's a really good idea, Eridus. The only problem with that, uh, I can't really, I mean, I can post, if I post it, how do I say this? In the past, when I've done forms, there's a lot of trolls that just use those forms as a way to like just bully the streamer. So I kind of don't know if I want to do it like that. I've, ha I've had situations like that in the past, which sucked. Um, maybe what I can do is just say, send me a note. And then the people that send me a note, like that could be the order of the people that want to join. And then I'll know how many people. So if I have to say like, I'm so sorry, like we actually hit a limit, maybe then I could tell them, then tell them that, I don't know. I don't know. But then like, that's like, I, that's, I haven't figured that out yet. Fishing time? No, I'm not gonna fish. I just came here just to get the 30 extra bait. <laughs> I did some fishing and I got a black bag coupon. I opened this yesterday when I wasn't streaming. I should have done it on stream, but I was getting antsy because my inventory was getting really full of them. And I was like, I kind of want to do these while I can still like organize my inventory off stream. And then I got, and then I got the black bag and I was like, what? <laughs> Freaking crazy. So cool. <clears throat> it's a lot of people. I've seen homesteads packed to the brim. I know, that's why I was, I mean, my, my cute little homestead is like a measly level 12. <laughs> it's really tiny to compare to others, but I'm working on it, man. I got the 30 homestead stone thingies a day and I'm farming as much as I can. I probably could. I mean, there's so many other things you can do to like really boost up the level, right? But Alas, I'm, I'm doing what I can, and it's okay. I honestly think it. this looks really cute. We can just have people that want to watch and don't really want to participate just sit right here. Or sit maybe like up here. You know? Cute. Adorable. <clears throat> I see you from my fishing spot. Oh wait, you did? <laughs> if you want a small success boost, you can join my chair. Wait. Do chairs give you a boost? Hold on, hold up. I didn't realize that's a thing. It <laughs> rigged. Do you have a fishing creel? I can hold up, it can hold up to a hundred fished items. Um, a fishing creel? I have this, I have this bag. Freaking orca giving me, <laughs> speaking of, dropping these. Wait a second. Yeah, they only sell for 28 gold. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wait, where are you? Where? Uh, in the sea of people. I have 849 fishing traps and counting counting open. Why? Oh, you're right here. <laughs> oh, I didn't know the fishing chair gives boost. Wait, is that why people have chairs out? Oh, I haven't been sitting in the chair that I have. Hi, Renegade. Good morning. If you buy the Welcome Militia Attendance check package in the NX shop on day five, you'll get a green bag. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, apparently it's like worth it, right? Because it also gives you a lot of gold or something. There's a two by two item that can fit a hundred fish things in it. Oh. 
how much is it? You can buy it from, oh, the Ducats Merchant. Oh, shoot, I was gonna, I was about to buy an airship. <laughs> I guess maybe, depending on how much it is, maybe I can afford both. 30 million gold, wow. That's, that's a lot. Gave her those special gifts with all the kindness in my heart thinking she could use them. What am I gonna do with the fish? Oh look, that one's like a baby one. <laughs> Have y'all seen sturgeon in real life? They're terrifying. They look like ancient dinosaurs, ancient dinosaur fish swimming in the lake. When me and my family had a, um, a pontoon boat, and when I was younger, we would obviously go out on the lake a lot on the boat, and we always saw them. And they were huge, and they were creepy looking, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't really, I didn't really like, I like the, the sturgeon. They were huge. They're gi giant fish. And they all like scales on them, right? So it looked, maybe it looked crazier as a child. Maybe now it, it's not. <laughs> but when I was a child, I was like, what's that dinosaur? <laughs> what is that? All right. Well, uh, I'll have to keep thinking about how sign up sheets work. Um,. Or sign up stuff works. I'm not really sure. Is that maybe I can ask Ronnie? How did y'all do it? Did y'all have a sign up sheet? Did that was that troll free? Oh dang it! Freaking ad. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Um, today I would like to work on Generation Seven. I finished Generation Three. Woo! So now I gotta keep going. Um, I'm on Generation Seven. Apparently this one is. Uh, generation 7 and Generation 8 are pretty short, so I think what I'll do is do those two today. Hold! 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 Wait, uh, Ty, the green bag that you're talking about, um, it's... How, how much stuff does it hold? Like, how big is it? The bag is massive. 30 million gold, spirit weapon boosts, gems, passes, tons of amazing stuff. Wow, that sounds nice. How much was it? How much was it on the NX store? Um, I usually do the sign up with last minute sign ups, 15 to 30 minutes beforehand. See, that sounds, maybe that's what we do. Yeah, that sounds great. Did you have like a Google form for them to sign up, Ronnie? Or did you just say like, note me if you'd like to enter? Is that enough time? 30 minutes to, if they hadn't heard about the Valentine's event to get an outfit in time? I'm assuming yes, because maybe they already have outfits that would work. <laughs> Some of us. Uh, but for like me, I don't, I don't have a Valentine's outfit. Maybe I can get a cute little Valentine's outfit for the Valentine's event. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Maybe Valen, Valentine. Oh, I don't know. I'd have to look it up somehow. It's identical to the black bag. So I could have a black bag and a green bag. Oh, it's $50? Oh, geez. Um, oh, interesting. I promise you the Fashion Ogies will make their outfits in minutes. Oh, really? Okay. Okay, I have nothing to worry about. I didn't know if that was enough time. <laughs> wow. Wow, that sounds fun. Nexon is going to update it soon so you can buy them again later and get another bag. Uh, They're going to update the bag or the item that's on the NX store. You have your flashy helm ready, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Please don't just use a flashy helm, Eridus. <laughs> if you need help with your outfit, let me know. Though I probably won't be that much help to be fair, but I can try. Oh, it's $30. Oh, not $50, $30. Oh, okay, okay. Wow, that's like really good. Oh, they're gonna update the pack. Okay, okay, got it. Thanks for teaching me. Thanks for helping me, guys. I'm so excited. Oh my God, I'm so excited. 
All right, let's, uh, why don't we go do some generation quests? Sorry, now I'm gonna put y'all to sleep, unfortunately. It's a lot of reading, but I really like it. I'm having fun with taking my time playing the game. Where do I? Is it this, Iria? Oh, I think this is it. Lost Memory of the Ancients, ooh. Okay. All right, uh, what does it say? This the Begin the story by talking to Ko Sai at the Chieftain's house in Core Village. Here, let me play some other music. Actually, if I'm gonna play music, I probably should play Mavi music. Um, turn that down. Uh, so I have to go to Ko Sai at the Chieftain's house in Core Village. The path to Zardine opens! giving Kosai of Kor a chance to recount the story of Korkul's heart, a relic lost somewhere within the crumbling ruins. Also, for those that may be new to Mavnogi, and I mean, I'm still new, but basically, generations are like the story, um, the lore behind Mavnogi. That and all these books that you can read. But the generations go one, two, three, and then they skip to seven because generation four, five, and six was basically the story of elves and giants appearing in the world. I think, I guess when this game first came out, they they didn't have, obviously they didn't have everything out. Um, I think they just, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they had just this continent. Um, so then generation four, five, six, created this continent and this is like where the elves are and the giants so i'm assuming when the game first came out you could only play a human which is this is the human continent and then generation four five six opened it up so that you could play as a giant or an elf and then but that's all i know they i don't know why they kind of i don't know apparently korea because this is a korean created MMORPG. It first came out in Korea. Korea had generation four, five, six. However, I think when this came out in North America, oh my god, I feel, I feel like I'm wrong, but um, when this came out in North America, um, we, we, they were, they basically just gave every gave it all to the North America so they already had elves and giants um so they didn't have the need to do generation four five six I don't think that's how it is but anyways <laughs> I think that's how it goes all right I need to go to core 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 yeah core but anyways that's why it goes from three to seven real quick all right let me change my title generation seven Generation 7. Hopefully this is, I don't know if this is good, but we're going to find out. <clears throat> Giants looked like Roblox characters back then. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> really? I guess they've done a revamp. I'm playing as an elf. Apparently Generation 1, 2, and 3 were only meant for humans. However, I guess they revamped it so that all players can do those generations regardless of the race that they chose. Um, but, yeah. Ta-da! My, my, uh, knowledge of what you guys have taught me, I think that was all of it. Okay, where am I going? Kosai? Kosi? Kosei, maybe? Um, uh, who's, who is that? Here, let me use this little thing. Am I in the wrong spot? Oh, here he is. Oh, God. Oh, this way. Ah, oh, this guy. Oh, the chieftain. Right, he has a little chief outfit. Okay, okay. Got it. This guy. All right, sir. Hello. All right. May the great spirit of... Oh. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? May the, May the great spirit of Irinid be with you. <laughs> We jamming. <laughs> this sounds cool. Is it too loud? No, it seems like it's good. Um, have you ever ended another being by moving your spirit? No. Becoming another being is good practice for freeing moving or freely moving your spirit about. 
While you're defeating monsters, you can feel their spirits disperse. Wait, is this the quest? Is he giving me... Sometimes I talk to these NPCs and they give me another quest. But we'll see. Maybe this is it. While you're defeating monsters, you can feel their spirits dis disperse. You should concentrate on sensing such, such things. Is that what I needed to talk to him about? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think that was something else. Um, maybe now, no, here we go. There it is, okay, there we go. No, what plagues you is your own fearful heart. Are you dreaming of things that were, things that are now, or things that may yet be? Find Coracle's heart, which shows reflections of Iria's past, present, and future memories. Iria is the name of the continent that we're currently on, which is the elves and giant continent. Coracle's heart isn't some long lost relic of legend until it suddenly disappeared from the crumbled ruins. It has always been with us. Youngster of Iria, everything you're experiencing is a sign of your own fate. Your tale's conclusion won't immediately be made clear just as its beginning took time to unfold. But with some patience, your fate will take you where you need to be. Perhaps this can be of use to you. It's a tea that can be made by boiling the root of a leaf of the leaf pie flower. It should help you calm down. Oh, oh, I got some nice leaf pie tea. Yum. All right, uh, use it. Okay. All right. So this is. I have to drink his tea. Where is the tea? Where did he put it? Where is it? Um. Oh, is it? Oh, it's here. Okay. Use. Oh gosh, I'm having a vision. The time has come. The land is released from its burning shackles, gushing out, out lifeless soil. It's so hard to read, it's so fast. Oh. <laughs> was that, was, did that tea just make me high? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what was that? What was that? Was that me? They said giants were originally planned to be dwarves, but they changed it, but kept the dwarf model. Oh, really? <laughs> sure, just drink the tea given to you by a stranger. I know, that probably wasn't the smartest idea. Oh my god! That's what they used to look like? Oh, interesting. I think I, I, think I see it. I think I see the, the dwarf inspiration. <laughs> but they were made into a giant. I wonder what made them uh, choose giant over dwarves. You like the old model more? <laughs> I kind of do too, not gonna lie. I kind of like it. It's very unique. Um, <laughs> oh, he deep. Sure, <laughs> I just saw that. Yeah, Generation 7, I'm on Generation 1. There's no rush, Jay Spaceman. Take your time. Take your time. They are a brick. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't want to mess and get on the bad side of this giant. <laughs> That's for sure. That's funny. All right, complete. It's quiet in Core Village. It's a peaceful village. Um, talk to Two Pie in Core. Okay, Two Pie. Um, over here. Two Pie. Is this the chief? Chieftain's son or grandson? I'm guessing. <clears throat> Tupai Tupai, that's my name. A few nights after Tupai and Ruari went to the ruins of Urki Falls, Ruari suddenly said that he would borrow Voight's Elrod for the adventure. Tupai wanted to follow him, but Ruari said the place is filled with sand that makes eyes blurry and itchy. A few nights later, Ruari came back safely but he changed. Lately, Ruari looks very sad. Ruai. 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 I'm saying it wrong. Ru Ruai uh, loves eating rainbow trout. Bringing him some rainbow trout may make him feel better. This is perfect. Oh my god, like near the very beginning of my time in Mabinogi, I was fishing and somebody told me to keep a rainbow trout. So I've been keeping them, not knowing when I was going to need it. Now I need it. Yay, I don't have to waste any time. Oh yes, Jibril! Yes, of course, feel free feel free to leave. You could have, um, I always feel bad. I don't want people to think that they have to stay out right after a raid. Please, go rest. Seven hour streams is no joke. 
Go relax, relax and rest. Thank you again for the raid. I'm glad your stream went well. Saved. Yeah, saved. I already got it. The otter looks disheartened. Giving it a giant rainbow trout may make it feel better. Oh, it doesn't take it from my inventory. I have to... Which one should I give him? Let's give him the bigger one. Here you go. Nice, big, meaty rainbow trout. Otter looks surprised by the gift. You just told me to bring you one. Why are you surprised? Oh, I got a journal? What is this? Roy's exploration journal? Oh, wow. Oh, oh. Really? Wow, that's an intense... Whoa! He said, what? Oh my god. Whoa. I see. Yeah, if you guys knew Otter, then you'd be able to know this. Do you want me to translate it for you? I don't think y'all can handle it. Yeah, that's some deep lore. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> oh, wait, am I not supposed to talk to him? Uh, clear the... Oh my god, there's an RP dungeon? Rue RP dungeon. Drop the exploration journal on the Longa Desert Ruins altar to enter the RP mission. Can I bring anybody with me or is it just me? Does it tell me? The, wait, where? The Longa Desert Ruin? I think that's near Philia, right? Oh, it's a one person dungeon? Darn it. Okay, all right, time to do the RP missions. <laughs> we haven't done those since Generation 1, right? Or Generation 2? Oh, wait. Oh, it's over here. I think this is it. Um, Longa Desert Ruins. Okay, yeah, this is it. We all know that book was the Otter's Burn book. <laughs> Um, okay, let's see here. <laughs> what the heck? The time has come! The land is released from its burning shackles, gushing out lifeless soil. I know. And I foresee. <laughs> what are they doing? The fate of this dark land. They're all skeletons. Oh, I'm an otter! I'm an otter. Look how cute I am. Hold on, do I have... Oh, I can cook. <laughs> what? He has rank 7 cooking. Alright, let me um, put some of this stuff on my bar. Is there anything else? What does my inventory look like? What in the world? He has, he has a cooking pot. He has a trout, a steam trout, an L rod. His journal and some potions. Okay. Kiss on the lips. What is that? What is a kiss on the lips? Alright, let's go. Throwing their hands in the air like they just don't care. <laughs> Cook them to death. I'll hit them with this giant cooking pot out upside the head. <clears throat> They're listening to some jams. All right, here we go. Where's the where's the epic music? All right, here, beetle. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Should I pick up that potato? I already got the boss key. That was fast. Nice. Take that, loser. Wait, this way? Oh no, this way. This is cute. Mavi has jams. Oh, indeed, it does. Indeedy, it does. You don't know what a kiss on the lips is? No. Is that like a popular, well-known beverage or food? To... Well, he can cook, so maybe he can cook a kiss on the lips. <laughs> what is that? Kiss. Oh, yeah, it's a drink! Brine, whiskey, lemonade, and sugar. I'm not a fan of whiskey, but... Oh, the ice mirror is broken! Piercing and freezing the heart of Coracle. The time has come! Throbbing heart of Coracle. 
speaks about the fate of this dark land. Oh god. Desert Ghost Fanatic Priest. Interesting. Alright, take this, guys! Ha! Oh no! These guys have a lot of HP! <laughs> Uh, we're at a standstill. Yeah! Stop defending! I can't remember what, what the rock, paper, scissors is again. I can't remember. I, th I guess smash beats defense. Ooh, cheap leather. Why did this otter, like, rain on their parade? R rain on these people's parade? Look at that, yeah. Oh no, it's a windmill. Get out of the way. This or there's excuse me, this otter was like, oh, you guys look like you're up to no good. Time to attack. Smash, defense, auto attack, smash. Okay. Come here. I don't want to aggro any of the other people. What is... What beats windmill? Dang it! Ah! Oh shoot! That did a lot of damage. Uh, attack me. Oh, windmill beats windmill? I don't think he has windmill. Oh yeah, he doesn't have windmill, darn it. Okay. Well, this is alright. We're alive. What <laughs> the sound he makes? Oh. I don't want to be attacked by multiple- Oh no! Does he stop doing windmill after a certain time? Do we need a reason to crash a cult meeting? Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Defense lets you take less damage from windmill, but it's better to just get out of the way. Okay. Man, how, how much HP? All right, two left. We got this. <laughs> Use your otter blast. Is that a thing? <laughs> he could try spinning his tail like a windmill, right? I feel like that would do way more damage. Oh God, no! Not the fire! What is this white stuff? What is what is this? Is it like his heartbeat? That's a show you are in an RP. Oh, okay. I'm just a silly little otter minding my own business. Yeah. All right, one left. Woo, crit. Ah, jeez. Oh! The heart of Coracle speaks about the fate of this dark land. Come close. Come closer. Listen to the voice of fate. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh! oh! The lady saved me. You shouldn't have come here. These tragic events are just beginning. I hope you'll forget what you've experienced here. Er, can you, can you understand me? How? 
I'm sorry, but I don't have time for long conversations. Please escape this place for your own sake. She saved the otter. <laughs> oh. Ah, so that's what happened. Of course, I already knew that. Naturally. Like her, I too also speak uh, otter. Never seen an otter put together put together C4. Wait, what? <laughs> what? RP are essentially memories. I see. Hi, McKenna. Good morning. How are you doing? All right, I'm supposed to talk to Voight. Uh, I think he's here. There we go. Wait, Voight, right? Yeah, speak to Voight. Okay, Voight. It was not too long ago. A str <laughs> it's music. It is not too long ago, a stranger wrapped in a thick, long robe came to Kor. Imagine this man wearing a thick robe in such hot weather. We'd been having extremely hot weather for these for days. Anyway, I knew he was bizarre. And speaking of bizarre, his artifact was even more strange. It was severely damaged and I was barely able to restore it. It still looked particularly strange after I got it fixed. What is he talking about? What stranger? What artifact? This is random. It appeared to be a stylobate uh, from an ancient building and it kept revealing a new secret. Each time I changed the regent, sort of like peeling layers from an onion, then I thought it might be the heart of Oracle. Oh, a coracle. Coracle. Oh. Uh, something that has been, has recently been getting a lot of attention. I. Don't know anything about that man. His name, where he lives, or why he wanted to restore the artifact were all mystery were all mysteries to me. I didn't even see his face, because he was covering it with a hood attached to his robe. Uh, no one can hide from my sharp eyes, though, you know. Judging by the way he walked and moved, he looked like an elf. That means the elves might have something to do with the disappearance of the heart of Coracle. Uh something seems kind of fishy, you know, very fishy. While you're at it, you would, how would you like to go to Philia for more information about the heart? In the meantime, I'll conduct my own investigation. Don't forget to share with me any information you might find, all right? Uh, what? So, so maybe one of, I'm confused. So an elf came to him with the heart of Coracle, needed him to like, I guess, excavate it or something? I don't know. And then took it? Is that, is that before or after the memory? Uh, oh, he restored it. He restored it. Right. Was that, was this person he's talking about, like, before or after the otter's memory? Do y'all know? I'm a little confused. <laughs> she stole our credit uh, from busting a cult more like. Wait, what were you? She did steal our credit. No, I take that back. She did. We fought, we fought them. Um, good morning, Sangster. We're doing Generation 7, right? We are. We are. It sounds crazy, right? But it's because 456 don't exist. <laughs> um, likely after. Oh, okay. Oh, are they talking about the purple lady? Oh, she stole or stole. She took the heart of Coracle from this cult, from those cultists, from lack of a better word of who they are, fanatics maybe, uh, uh, took that from the fanatics, went to him to get it restored, and then went to Philia. Okay, okay. She did look like, she was an elf. Haggle. I think I know her name. Or at least I think I've seen her before. Uh, who's Haggle? Hagel? Hagel want a bagel? Uh, who's Hagel? Oh wait, he said Philia, so maybe in Philia. Can't remember everybody's names yet. The fishy vibe is just the other rainbow trout Kylie has been holding on to for <laughs> for a long time. A long time. At least a month, Rhea. At least a month. <laughs> is that why people don't want to talk with me? It's because I smell fishy? But to be fair, it's not even just that fish. <laughs> um, okay, haggle. Hagel. Uh, let's see, where are you? Where are you? Where, may, where might you be? Where, there you are. The bake. Okay. Aha. 
I have found you. Does he have some really awesome music too? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, hello, I'm uh, H H Hagel. How do y'all pronounce it? Hagel? Uh, what can I do for you? Well, I'm sorry, but I've never heard of it before. Oh, I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I have, I've been having this strange migraine ever since yesterday. Oh, that stinks. I'm sorry, man. Uh, migraines suck. <laughs> Lepis? Lepis? I guess I have to go to Lepis now. Um, am I still under 10k? I am, yes, I am 9,375. It's a Wednesday. Usually when birthdays land during the weekday, it's kind of hard to celebrate until like the weekend. Yours is on the 20th of February. Would you like for me to make you a little banner tie? I did it for Yvesu. Her birthday was recently. I made her a little banner and I had it. I created a little event in the, uh, in the, in the Mabinogi Discord. I had like a little banner for her and then I had it as an event so other people will know it's your birthday. I want to do that for everybody in the in the thing. It doesn't have to just be the guild, by the way. By the way, hi, Fed. Um, yeah, you just have to let me know if it's your birthday and if that's something that you want. And the Discord's open to everybody. So if y'all want to join. And I'm not talking about my streamer Discord. Oh, Zang, speaking of, uh, are you here? What was the command for the Discord? <clears throat> for the Mabinogi Discord? There has to be at least 10 in the guild. <laughs> I downloaded it and played it a little. It's a little confusing at first. No, it's pretty overwhelming at first, Rhea. Not a little, a lot. Uh, but new Genshin update came out, so I've been doing that. Oh yeah, that's what zang has been doing too. Hold on, let me ask. Uh, what is the command for the Mabby Discord? I wonder if I should just have that on a, an alert. Like, a, not alert, but like a continual thing so people know. Alright, let me... Sorry, Fed, I'm gonna focus on doing this right now. Welcome! Well, I'm sorry, but I've never heard of it before. By the way, I feel strange for some reason. My memory is all hazy as if I'm still asleep. This guy's really colorful. Is there anything? What? Do these people know something and they're just not telling me? One guy had a migraine, one guy is hazy. <laughs> granites? Where's granites? Oh, I think over here. These people know something, they're just not telling me. Hi, XBS! Thank you for the 35 months! Hi! One month away from three years. <laughs> Jeez. Thank you for being here for so long, XPS, and always being so friendly to everybody in the stream and me, of course. They all they all have what, Fen? It's the fish, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's the fish. What is it? Do you need to do something? Well, I've never heard of it before. We're talking about the heart of Coracle to all these people. Uh, by the way, I've been having this severe migraine since this morning i didn't even drink last night i'm not sure what's causing this oh i like this music what so i guess all of these people are having symptoms because i don't know i don't really understand why are these people all having migraines do y'all ever get migraines chat if i do if you do i am so sorry they're like the worst things in the world and the da, 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 da. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> Can you describe what you're talking about? <laughs> what is just describe it if you can't spell it? He's been trying to read Mavi chat. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's why he gets a migraine because <laughs> it's so tiny. Just give him some aspirin, exactly, right? Oh, they'll explain it in a bit. Okay, okay. So I'm not supposed to, sometimes I don't know if I'm supposed to know what's going on or if I'm not supposed to know what's going on. I am confused 24-7, Chad. Post a good meme for me. Oh. Anisha? Anisha? Amnesia? Amnesia? Is that what you're trying to say? Where did you post it? In the memes TikTok? 
I guess we could split it 50-50. <laughs> Wait! That's funny! Here, I'll show Bento. I'll show everybody your, your meme. <laughs> I guess we could split it 50-50. <laughs> I never even realized that. Yeah, Mickey Mouse doesn't have a top on and Donald Duck doesn't have any pants. <laughs> Wait, that's funny. That's cute. All right, Maylies. What can I help with you? Uh, uh, the heart of Corkle. Well, I don't think I've heard it before. By the way, I had a strange experience today. Somebody came by asking if this, if his weapon was repaired. I don't remember ever receiving an order from him. It's strange, isn't it? <gasps> Amnesia! Mm. So I checked the ledger, but who knew? I wrote his order on the ledger with my own handwriting. I don't know, but I feel like I've lost my memory of the recent days for some reason. <gasps> You're right! Also, my bow is 12 out of 24. I should probably go repair it soon. All right, so everybody's been wiping their memories. What the heck? Atrata. Atrata? Over here, the healer's house. Oh, healer's house. <laughs> I get mild headaches all the time. Uh, migraines only on occasion, but those are awful. Mm -hmm. I get my I get headaches, small headaches, um, frequently. Not frequently, like more often. I feel like than most, but I haven't had any migraines luckily. My sister used to be like me. We never we never got migraines, but then when she had children, she started getting migraines. The worst. Um, they're all cute and handsome. I know, the, they are cute. I agree. Like, look how pretty they are. Hello, I'm a Trata. Well, that doesn't sound familiar to me. The Heart of Coracle, huh? Sorry, I've never heard of it before. Is there anything I can help you with? She didn't say anything about it giving a headache. She is a healer, though, so maybe that's why. Castania. Okay. Castania. Where's Castania? Uh, oh here, Cast... Uh, hmm. Okay, maybe they aren't in Philia? Up there where your cursor is at? Why doesn't it show her on here for him? Oh, she's inside the chief's house. Oh, okay. Got it. <laughs> Brain. It's the fish giving everybody migraines. There we go. Oh yeah, her. Oh, she's the one that, oh. Welcome to Philia. Uh, if you receive my blessing, your HP and dex will be increased as long as you don't have the Conus region or get If you if you don't leave the Conus region, you get knocked out. I'll continue to strengthen you, of course. If it disappears, you need only come to see me again. Oh, I guess that was for something else. Telling you, man. Is there something you need? Uh... She didn't tell me anything. <laughs> she just told me she can give me a buff as long as I don't leave the Conus region. Who lost and found? View controls. Oh shoot. Okay. All right. This is pretty in here. All right. I have to go back to Void now. Okay. That was weird. <laughs> She, would, she knows about the heart of Corkle. What the heck? I'm confused. Oh well. I guess she didn't want to tell me. My first migraine was a freshman year of college. I think normal to happen when you get older. Yeah. It's a part of aging. I think. They didn't update the location in the quest. Oh, okay. Alright, wait. Um, you, I've given
gave him Void a detailed explanation about my experience in Philia. So all the elves looked as if they were possessed by something and they're mumbling the same thing. Hmm. Ah, this is getting more fishy! I don't believe them when they say that they've never heard of the heart of Coracle. I mean, think about it. Every single adventurer in Ire is desperately looking for the heart, chanting the heart of Coracle everywhere they go. I don't know, but something strange is happening in Iria. Something fishy. Exactly, Fed. Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Alright. That quest is done. Let's see what I need to do next. <laughs> oh, my ear. Um, talk to Tanis and Vals. Okay, so we have to go to the giant place now. Okay, Vales. Vales, Vals. <laughs> oh wait, let me pause my music. I didn't realize it was still going. Okay, uh, where? Where's the town? Oh, town's down there. Okay, all right, let's see. Oh, no, it's up here. Okay. All right, gotta talk to somebody in Vales. Let's find them. Um, here he is. Tan's request. Ooh, I like Vales. Vales is really pretty. I haven't actually really sat down and looked at the town. It's nice here. I like this. Okay, sir. Chiseled body. Gosh dang! It's embarrassing, but I don't have any other choice than to tell you something very personal. As you may know, my vision is weakening by the day. I'll be blind soon. Completely unable to see anything. I'm not afraid of blindness, but there's one thing that I want to do before I completely lose my sight. I want to see Atrata once and for all, so I'll remember her. Ooh, is this like a love story? You may say that it's a foolish obsession. Hmm, it's like if the burdens of life that everyone has to endure are different, then everyone suffers different burdens of love, right? I don't think I'll be able to remember this kind of love later without seeing her now. I don't even think that she would even remember me. She must have lost her memories like the other elves. Wait, he knows that they lost their memory? If I can find the mem mirror of memory from the ruins of Par, I may be able to restore the incomplete memory of the elves. I have an ice crystal of memory, which I received from Queen Kirin. It's the key to the ruins of Par, where the mirror of memory is hidden. Please lend me a hand, will you? Ooh, love story! Ooh, I didn't know there was a love story in it. That's cute. So he likes Atrata. Ooh, why is he going blind though? Poor guy. Is this a role-playing mission? Give the memory, mirror of memory to taunt and veils. Ice crystal of memory. Okay, so I have to go to par. Um, par, 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 par. Par. Did I miss it? Did I skip it? Par is northeast of Vales. Giants don't get music. G7 is very much a love story. Oh. So it's not really about the coracle of heart, the heart of coracle or whatever. It's about the memories being taken. Or maybe it's both. <laughs> what are you talking about, Fed? Here, I'll, I don't see it. Did I, am I? Did I, did I skip it? Where's par dungeon? I guess it's not on this list. Oh, it's not on the guide. Okay. It's okay. I'll just go here then. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you, though. Um, Par ruins. Why isn't it on the guide? That's weird. Oh, I guess the longer one isn't on the guide either. I didn't think about that. I guess... I guess it's because it's it's in a different uh, continent. 
Maybe? Maybe that's why? All right, let's get him this this uh, mirror of memories then so he can give this to... But wait, didn't y'all say that the elves and the giants were at war? So, but he still loved them? I'm assuming... Didn't y'all say that's, that's what Generation 4 through 6 was all about? Or am I wrong? About the war and it's still like an ongoing thing? <laughs> oh wait, Mavi hates us and doesn't have that. <laughs> um, it's kind of outdated. Okay, gotcha. Wee, I'm windmilling. You're gonna do a lot of RP missions as the elf lady. Uh, for more details on their love. Ooh, okay. I'm here for it. Isn't that kind of like Romeo and Juliet though? Like both, if both families are fighting. Ooh, cute. Cute. I made a giant, so am I at war with you? Apparently the war is over in like present day, but I'm doing this story. Oh, is this, I went the wrong way. So I guess this is like the past. <laughs> I don't know. I think so. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this way? Oh, this way. It's because giants hate us because they ain't us. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what Lorca said. Par and Longa weren't uh, updated with the dungeon revamp. Ah, okay. Um... I'll just let them come and attack me. Oh my gosh, why is there why is it always these? Ooh! Snow zombie. Oh, I can hit these zombies. Um, par, okay, right, uh, it's never over until Nexon buffs the elves. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> is that why, is that why elves are weaker? Is it because of the war? Or lore, I guess? Is it because of lore? And also, how are we weaker? Is it just because we have less HP or something, or? Y'all keep telling me that, but I never really understood why. Yeah, boss key! Uh, elves are weaker in stats by a lot. I wonder why. Like, why? Why are we weaker, Nexon? Ooh, this is pretty. In a sharp fragment, in a sharp fragment of ice, my heart freezes piece by piece. Along with your pale song. In the mirror, my shadow fades away. Oh. If I melt away into tears like this. Even you won't recognize me anymore. Whoa. Whoa. Windigo. Uh. Okay. Uh. Elves wrap themselves with a snuggie. Out oh God. While giants were be living in the gym. <laughs> I guess so. How dare you hurt my Wendigo? You'll regret this! Ah! Oh, shoot. Whoa, what's going on? Oh, no! Mirror Witch. She has so many mirrors. Do I need to break her mirror? Break the mirrors? Oh. Oh, no, I can't find the mirror. I found it. 
I'm just kidding. God, take that! Ah, <laughs> uh, the greedy descendants of Irenid. All you wanted was my mirror of memory. Hee <laughs> hee. I can give it to you if you want, but are you brave enough to face the scars of the ruthless memory reflected upon the mirror? Hee <laughs> hee. If you're brave enough, you wouldn't have let the gate of the blazing land open itself so easily. The gate of the blazing land? We did it! Woo! Oh, I got it. Broken mirror of... Oh, it's broken. The mirror witch's mirror of memory is cracked on the surface. Oh, we're gonna need to repair it somehow. Um... Give the mirror... Oh, to taunt. Okay, so we need to go back to veils. Uh, it's just elf cope. They are the squishiest race. Ah, okay, I see, I see. So it's kind of just like what you sign up for. <laughs> uh, wait, where am I? Where's Bales? Oh, this way. <laughs> it is Bigfoot. <clears throat> From what I've been told, elves can get the highest DPS with bow, but it does more... But it takes more investment. That's what I have heard as well. I wonder why they made the elf so squishy. I guess they're just born that way. Darn. Okay. Oh, I'm trapped behind this thing. All right, Tons. Here we go. Thank you so much. I knew you would be able to find the mirror of memory. By the way, the mirror was broken. As its name indicates, the mirror reflects the lost memory of the person who looks into it. It shatters, though, if the person is afraid of facing his past. Fortunately, it isn't broken that terribly, it's just cracked a bit. I believe this mirror can be repaired like new through artifact restoration. Oh, do I need to go to Voight? I need to go to Voight, don't I? Ah, I need to go to Voight. Yeah. Ooh. All right, to core. Hi, Lulu! Just swapping in between meetings. Say hi. Hope everyone is having a good Wednesday. Well, thank you for that. Having a great day so far. Guys, yesterday and today, yesterday it was like 73 degrees Fahrenheit, and today I think it's like 73 as well. Holy cow, the weather is so nice. So nice! It's so nice. What is it? What is it? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's gonna be 72 today. <laughs> what the heck? I was uh, trying to soak up, soak it all up yesterday. I literally didn't even realize how, how warm it was outside until I stepped out. I had a coat on, I was like, I won't be needing this. Feels nice, man. It's lonely at the top, <laughs> is it? Magic has the best utility and amazing burst, but archery has the highest DPS. Interesting. All right, do you need anything? Um, yes. What do I do? Hold on. Have Void and Core restore the memory, the mirror of memory. Uh, appraise, I guess? Oh, restore, here we go. Hmm, this is, may I ask what this is? I've restored countless artifacts, but I've never seen anything like this before. Mirror of memory, huh? By the way, can this mem mirror really restore your lost memories? If that's true, maybe it might be handy when I drink too much and pass out. Yeah, dude. Let's uh, let's use a very rare artifact on uh, what you may have forgotten after you <laughs> were passed out drunk. Okay. All right, what do I do now? Do we need to go? Oh, we complete it. Complete this. All right. Also, Eridus, I did see you said something about the mana tunnels. What did you say about the mana tunnels? Um, hi, Whirly. Happy Wednesday. Warm. Yeah, I guess I could say more like that. Hot. Yeah, sort of. The thing is, I feel like 90 to 100 is hot. I feel like 70s are warm. Is that not how you think, Jai? <laughs> To compensate for lower defensive stats, elves get hide in the highest movement speed. That is true. I guess we shouldn't complain too much. We are pretty fast. <laughs> it's about 33 here. Oh, God. 
But you like the cold? Okay. Giants have higher defensive base stats, but can't use play dead. Um, <laughs> they can't use play dead. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't think I could, I don't think a giant could, if you really think about it, I don't think a giant can get away with playing dead either, can they? Maybe, maybe they're just so big, right? I don't know. Give them mirror memory to a Trotto and Philia. Okay, I do have to go to Philia. To Philia. Uh, one of the techniques requires that you collect all of the mana tunnels. Um, after 10k, you have to pay to teleport. Uh, oh, I see. Is there an easy way to do this? Unless you have VIP. I'll probably get VIP again. I think it just, it's just expired right now. I, I think. We'll see. I don't know. I can't keep spending too much money. <laughs> Um, oh, that's cool for you. Oh, okay. I was warm. I think it's, I say warm relatively because it's been a little chilly here. So that's why I say warm. <laughs> All right, let's head to the healer. Um, two skills for running away. No wonder the giants are winning. <laughs> hey, we run away to come back another day. All right. It's tactic. We had a storm and been getting lots of wind and rain here. Oh, unless you like the rain. I'm sorry, Rhea. You can teleport with the map. Uh, with the map. Oh, I see. Okay. When should I do this? <laughs> should I do this today? Um, I don't get low. I don't get low 70s here unless it's nighttime. Ever? It's 51 degrees here, which is warm for this time of year. It's usually 20s to low 40s, but this year it's low 50s. Wow. Oh, before I talk to Blanid. Oh, right, because she's going to give me a lot of levels. Fair. Everything has happened so quickly, so I don't know if I can do this. Mirror, memory, of course. I'm curious about it, but, but I'm as afraid as I am curious. Kylie, if you stay with me, I'll try my best. Cheer up! Cheer up, Atrada! Oh, where is she? I like her little bell. So I guess she's trying to find something? Oh, she. this is when she discovers the giant! Ooh! And she's a healer, so she probably healed his giant pecs. Oh no! The mirror's broken! Oh, I may not be be capable of handling this mirror for now. By the way, I've seen Wind Bell. I've seen Wind Bell in the mirror. It was strange because I have the exact same thing. I don't remember when I've obtained this Wind Bell. It makes a beautiful sound as if the stars in the night sky are brushing against each other when the wind blows. It sounds pretty. What if this Wind Bell is a clue about something that I can't remember? So she doesn't, it breaks when she doesn't want to face her past, guys. Ooh. Um, clear the Atrada RP dungeon. Okay, cool. Here we go. Let's see. I, it's kind of hard to read that. Drop the wind bell on the Longa Desert Ruins altar. Okay. I'm assuming this is a one-player mission as well. Are all the role-playing role missions from now on just one-player? I kind of liked it when it was multiple people. <laughs> Pretty much that I know of. Darn. Okay. It's okay. Um, you want to do it as soon as you can? Okay. Almost all. I can recall one more that's multiple people. Okay. I want to save the multiple people for Effin and Orca. So let me know when it's a multiple person one. I'm sure it will tell me, but sometimes I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Ooh, I kind of, I like this story. I like when it has love stories in it. <laughs> the only one I remember. I must find him. Okay, what does she have? Okay, first aid. All right, I guess I could put that here. Potion making. Oh, she has healing and party healing. Wait, does she have no defensive... defensive 
Nothing? Okay. <laughs> We're gonna heal everybody. Um, can I hear what this sounds like? I guess not. What is this? Tika Wood Sap Potion? Okay. Alright, hopefully nothing attacks me. Maybe I can just hit it with my wand. It's like in G16. Oh, really? That's far. Okay, so I won't have to worry about it for a while. Heal him to death. Offensive, defensive, and offensive. Oh, God. Oh, no. Okay, I got lucky. All right, avoid the snakes. <laughs> she doesn't even wear a chest piece. Yeah, she doesn't, does she? She's naked under this robe! <laughs> wow, okay. Alright, there's a lore question for you guys. <laughs> oh, I did it. Use hide to avoid the enemy's eyes. Oh, that's how. Okay, I'm supposed to use hide. Right. Okay. Wait, where's my stuff? Alright, we're not supposed to attack. Got it. Hi, Bill. Good morning. Oh, wow. I got. Oh, I chose all the good ones. Oh, <gasps> there he is. He's injured. Or he's sleeping. I can't tell. Taunts, did I make you wait very long? Oh. Oh, he's okay. Oh, this voice. Atrada, I knew it was you. Ooh, please wait. Hopefully this Tika Sap Potion will take effect soon. Ooh, he needed a potion. What does the Sap Potion do? Oh, oh, it healed them. Oh, were they doing a dungeon together? Now you should rest. You shouldn't talk until you recover. Ooh, she sits next to him. Oh, cute. Oh, I like this. This is cute. Why do they have to show so much of like this? Why can't they have them in like the center? <laughs> my eyes are blurry, but I can still hear the painful screams of my late comrades in my ears. Oh. The sound of your wind bell from a distance woke me up from the hellish nightmare. Forget everything. Do you know why you giants are still dep are always depressed? It's because you never forget. No. <laughs> oh, that's why. Is that what depression? That's how you solve depression? Okay. Easy. <laughs> Every moment of your life feels like new. If you can forget everything like the elves. Interesting. So the elves lost their memory, but the giants never did. Okay. Uh, she's a doctor? Wait. Hold how do I leave? Oh. Okay. So, I guess that potion was for his eyesight, maybe? I'm not sure. He was having bad memories of something. Oh, I just assumed I had... Oh, good, good. I did it right. I wish I could forget all the times I told the server to enjoy a meal, too. <laughs> same, Orca, same. <laughs> you have uh, have a good meal. You too. <laughs> I hate that. Um. Oh god. All right. Let's talk to her. Oh shoot. I clicked too fast. Okay. Let me wait. Hopefully that was nothing important. <laughs> Ooh, uh, look at how they, dr look at her hand on his hand. Ooh, the only one I remember, I must find him. I, it was love. Ooh, she liked him too. It was love. Who needs therapy when I can just forget? Thanks, Elf. <laughs> After the days of the Great Flood, there was one con- I can't read that fast! Darkness walled up the dr <sighs> Can y'all help me? <laughs> I couldn't 
read that fast. Can you please send me the script? Why is it so fast? Oh, Crom Crotch! Hey! Where's Rari? Ria? Rari. Oh! His name is Rari. Rari. He was sitting at the final valley of despair. I feel like sometimes they're really nice and long and they'll let you read them, and then other times they're like, quick! Quick! <laughs> it's like, oh. All right. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh, oh, this is what she said? The Heart of Coracle. Um, I'm sorry, but I've never heard of it before. You return to Voight. I've given Voight a detailed explanation about my experience with Philia. Oh, wait, wait. Is this something earlier? Or was that just now? No, that was earlier. Sorry, 11.09. My bad. <laughs> uh... Yeah, can I, I need the script for that because that was way too fast. Way too fast. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here it is. Here we go. Uh, after the days of the Great Flood, there was one conduction ceremony. The one who was chosen as the Gold Dragon's conductor was Cesare, who was from a noble family. Cesare's darkness swallowed up the gold dragon, and the dragon brought upon an era of eternal darkness with the name Moonlight of Death. How, however, the seemingly endless days of darkness finally ended with the appearance of Irenid, and with that, the era of the dragons was over. Crom Crotch appears within the jungle ruins behind Erky Falls, landing on the altar surrounded by the ziggurats. After a few thousand years passed, fate has planned for yet another conduction ceremony. I, Crom Crotch, am guiding the dragon's contractor to Iria in preparation for the conduction ceremony. His name is Rari. He was sitting at the final valley of despair, the most miserable human of them all. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, interesting. So, enter Rari again, I guess. Um, wait, what about Atrada and Tons? What about them? Uh, oh, G7 is done? Oh! Oh, I'm done? Oh! That's it? I wanted more romance. Oh, okay. All right, now we're on generation eight. Oh, man. For once, I want it to be longer. <laughs> what? That didn't even... That, that was like nothing. That was like a crumb. What? So generation eight is about right. Okay. But what about Trotta and Tons? It was a very short love story. Was that even a love story? It was more like a like a fragment <laughs> of anything. What the heck? Aw. They lived happily ever after. But she didn't even restore her full memory from the mirror. <laughs> what? So confused. Whatever. All right. And they lived happily ever after. Okay. Did they, like, shorten it and that's why it's so short? Or was it always that short? Um, oh, you're still gonna get more of them? If they have a part in G8, you still have more of their romance. Oh, they're in G8? Okay. <laughs> it was always that short? Wow. Oh, this is basically part two. Okay, I guess we'll see. Maybe this has something to do with the heart of Oracle or, Oracle or whatever. All right, talk to Effie at the Quilla base camp. All right, Effie. Quilla, Quilla, Quilla base camp. <sighs> okay. Okay. They gave us a crumb so that we can eat fully in Generation 8. Right, guys? Yeah. A little snidbit. Thank you for sending me that um, uh, script, by the way, there it is. <laughs> it was a little, a little too fast. All right, Effie? Who? Oh, Effie. Hi, Liz! 
guys, a lot of generations under these groupings continue into each other if you like certain characters from one. Atrada tr and Tons, I like them. I wanted to understand why he wasn't able to see though. Are you looking for something in particular? I heard from a group of explorers in Zardine that someone resembling my brother was spotted. Kelpie is my little brother's name. Please remember it. And please go to Zardine and find my little brother. I'm counting on you for this favor. In turn, I'll give you something that uh, will help you in your journey to Zardine. Okay, gotta find her brother. Uh, uh, this maybe? Is this Sardine? Kelpie. Wait, I know Kelpie. Kelpie's the one that, I know, oh, they're siblings. Okay. Hello, my name is Kelpie, please remember me, <laughs> okay. Effie, a person named Effie sent you here, or sent you for me. I don't remember anything. I don't know why, but most of my memory has disappeared. Oh. Alright. Uh, seems like he doesn't remember you, big sis. That sucks. Everybody's memory is going away. They all need to go and, and inherit, uh, their grandfather's farm and start farming. That's the only thing you do after amnesia, though, right, chat? Kelpie, the name fits perfectly. That alone gives me hope. It's all because of you. Thank you. But why can't he remember anything? Is it possible for you to sketch that person named Kelpie? If I see the sketch, I think I'll have a better idea. That's why I ask. Okay, so I need to ske sketch him now? Sketch him. Does she give me paper? Oh, she does. Okay. All right, back to Kalita Exploration Camp. <laughs> Yeet. They gotta make their love matter a bit more to the world and not just be them trying to make a kiss to make a kiss on the lips. Uh, each chapter is essentially a long story across multiple generations. Oh, okay. Hi, Neko. Hello. Okay, so I need to sketch him. All right. Uh, use. Kelpie. All right. Uh, now I have to go back. <laughs> He's probably like, why did this one random person come to me and just draw me? <laughs> don't, don't worry. There he is. Can't you tell that that's your brother? <laughs> I wouldn't be able to tell. Ah, that's my brother. Oh, good, good. Uh, but... But why can't he remember anything? What could have happened to Kelpie? Have you heard of the Mirror of Memory by any chance? I heard that the Mirror of Memory can help restore lost memories. I know you've done, you've already done so much for us, but could I ask you for one more favor? Could you uh, get me the Mirror of Memory? I could ask for nothing more if the Mem Mirror of Memory can help Kelpie remember his own sister. Please, you have to help me. Do I have to go do that dungeon again? She didn't give me the item. Uh, oh, maybe I go back to Trotta and she gives it. Ah, ha, ha, that's it. Okay, so she gives it back. Or she gives it to me. But we're going to have to restore it, don't won't we? She broke it. She looked in the mirror and broke it. <laughs> Please find the mythical mirror that you just happen to know of by chance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay. I was able to use the mirror memory to regain my memory. My memory of Tons. They were memories that I wouldn't change for anything. Oh, so she ended up using it after all. But not all of them were happy memories. Among some of the regained memories were those too difficult to recollect. Um... Each time I regained my lost memories, I was stricken with fearful premonitions. How wonderful it would be if Tons was by my side now. I prepared a letter for Tons. Could I ask you to deliver for me? In the meanwhile, I will get the mirror of memory ready for you. What kind of memories did you recall? <gasps> Here we go. It's not over yet, chat. Ooh, so all of her memories are back. 
The only one I remember, I must find him. Ooh, ooh, I like this. I like the music. The text is so small and goes by super fast. It does, I try my best. This font though is pretty big, at least, well, for me, <laughs> I guess. Taunts, did I make you wait very long? Oh, it's the same memory. This voice, a child, I knew it was you. Please wait, hopefully this Tika sap potion will take effect soon. Oh, it's just the same memory, but maybe it's like, shows us what happens after. Ooh. What happens after. Now you should rest, you shouldn't talk until you recover. My eyes are blurry, but I can still hear the painful screams of my late comrades in my ears. The sound of your wind bell from a distance woke me up from that hellish nightmare. Forget everything. Do you know why you giants are always depressed? Because you never forget. Every moment of your life feels like new if you can forget everything like the elves. This is where it stopped. No, we're just all the same memory? Oh. I guess she keeps seeing him and visiting him. The only one I remember, I must find him. Please don't tell me, I wanna see more. I already saw this, show it, show me more. No, it was the same thing. Oh, 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 it's not done, it's not done. Oh, oh, black haired elf, an omen of doom. The beginning of the great flood and the moonlight of death, the curse of Irinad. Each time disaster strikes our race, the black haired appears without fail. <gasps> the bud of destruction must be nipped right away before it can grow any bigger. The giant army of Gepard is already passing through the Longa Desert. It must disappear before a bigger disaster hits us. We must burn it and get rid of it. Oh, shoot. Let's try to read it fast. Whoa, what? <gasps> Who's... Oh, sheep with fur yet to be sheared and baby lambs. It's not time yet. I guess I'll realize then that I need that child. So, a black-haired, black-haired elves is a, is a bad omen. Oh, and they were going to kill her because she had black hair? Interesting. The plot thickens. So that was a memory she had that she didn't want. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's the elf chief. Yeah. Evil lady, I guess. Deliver Trotta's letter to Tons. Wait, can we read the letter? Dang it. I can't read it. <laughs> All right. Um... <laughs> All right, let's see. We got to head to him now. Black hair used to not be an option in character creation for this logic. Oh. Oh, if you were an, Oh, yeah, you were telling y'all yeah, y'all were telling me this. If you if you made an elf, you couldn't have black hair, but it was because of this. Oh, it's cuz of the lore. Oh. Cool. Everyone with black hair and chat scatter. <laughs> the letter delivery used to be scary since the giant slash elf NPCs used to attack the opposing faction and allies to said faction. Oh, wait, how would you have... Wait. Oh, shoot. How would you have... How would I have done this then? Oh, maybe I just use hide. I just use hide. I guess. But then how would L or how would giants go to Trotta and talk to her? They don't have hide. What do they do instead? Transform maybe? Oh, giants would just die? 
Oh. <laughs> oh, you kill them? Oh. Is that possible? <laughs> oh, Trada, it breaks my heart that I can't be by her side. But as I am under house arrest for disobeying King Crud's command, oh, it would be nearly impossible for me to avoid the guards and escape out of veils. Oh, he's under house arrest. Oh, what did he do? What command did he disobey? The only possible solution is if I somehow come across the Par Mirror Witch's unicorn. I'm talking about the unicorn that is said to look like snow. Glowing in pure white. It's a legendary unicorn that is known to run faster than the speed of sound. <laughs> well, gosh dang! I know it's a lot to ask, but could you help me? I'll lend, I will lend you some unicorn powder, which you'll need to get inside the Par Dungeon, as well as a few tools you'll need to tame the unicorn. Please tame the unicorn for Trotta and me. If you fail, you can come back to me and I'll give it to you again. Okay. Well, we gotta go tame a unicorn? Ooh, okay. This is cool. We have to tame a unicorn that's faster. <laughs> that's super fast. So I guess, oh, oh, then he can run away with her. Ooh. All right, let's go to Par. Par Ruins. The guards were invincible. So yeah, wait, how did the giants even finish then? Could like an elf help a giant and like talk to the giant or talk to the talk to the guards away so that the giants can like sneak in? Is that even possible? <laughs> I had to kill everyone on the way here, but here's your letter. <laughs> I think I saw one die once with like 50 players attacking it. Wow. You can you just run past them and and get them stuck. Oh. Yeah, decoys, to use decoys. All right, let's see. I need to use the unicorn powder. Wait, right? Drop the unicorn powder. Okay, okay. Powder. Um, okay, let's go in. How do I tame something? Candlestick. I use the animals to, oh. Okay, I, I have it. <laughs> I think I got it just now. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't know you could tame animals. I thought you could just transform into animals, not tame them. Wait, what do you do when they when you tame them? Do they attack for you? Get on my sheet. Oh, or not. I should probably just use my Ah, oh, white wicked penguin. Also, what is this? This thing that keeps popping up, it says I so successfully collected. What is that? It, I've just been like ignoring it. <laughs> Let me deactivate. I don't think I need it anymore. Um, penguins are vicious. This game has taught me. <laughs> uh, that's for transformation. Okay, so it's this. So you have to, oh, so you have to finish all five circles in order to collect these. Oh, I think. Is that what you, is that right? Yep, okay. Got it. <gasps> the unicorn! The mirror witch's unicorn. Alright. We gotta, we gotta tame it now. Alright. Alright, oh, I tamed it. Oh, that was so easy. 
Nice. Now what do I do? Talk to Tons. Can I ride it? Wow, it's pretty. Well, that was easy. Woo! Come to me! Come with me! Oh, yeah, there you go. Can it leave the dungeon with me? Whoa. Broken log. <laughs> Feed it to Voldemort? <laughs> oh no, it ran away! Uh, I guess it's okay. It's fine? Okay. <laughs> it ran away though! All right, let's go back. That's normal? Oh, okay. So just for story purposes, let's just pretend we still have it. It is running behind me. It is trying to catch up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dark Knights have a stronger taming skill. Um, do they? Speed of sound. Oh, right. It is already there. Yeah, speed of sound. <laughs> it's already here. Uh, I can't believe you successfully tamed the Mirror Witch's unicorn. So, Silva Forest is where it was. Thank you. I owe you. Take these wings of a goddess. They should help bear you swiftly back to Trotta. Okay. I think it's kind of funny. Like, when you first talk, it, like, describes him, and it literally says his chiseled body. <laughs> like, okay. All right, let's go back to Philia. I like these wings. What should I do with this? Taming King? Wow, he gave me 50 bait. I only needed one. Is that something else that used to be difficult? All right. Uh, talk to her. Okay. Took, um, keep them and train your taming skill later. Oh, it's a percent success rate. Ah, oh, okay. It's great to even hear how Taunt is doing through you, um, Kylie. I have prepared the Mirror of Memory, but unfortunately the mirror has been damaged and is in poor condition. I think it's going to have to be restored. All right, to Voight! To Voight. To Core. To Voight. He'll fix it again. He's done it once. He will do it again. I shall keep these for when I train uh, Taming. Does Taming give decks? I think it doesn't matter. I think I'm gonna just level up all skills eventually. Wait. Oh. I guess I had to do this first. I remember this mirror. It helps one recall memories that have been lost. Hmm. I was... It was, was restored once, but it seems to have been damaged again. Unfortunately, it is beyond my skill to fix this time, but perhaps Arnin, Ar, 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 Arnin can help you. He taught me all that I know about the restoration of relics. I consider him a friend, a teacher even, but at the moment he's upset with me and would likely turn me away were I to petition, petition him myself. When you see him, don't mention that you spoke with me or that I sent you. His dwelling is some ways off, so take these wings of goddess to reach him quickly. <laughs> All right. Don't mention, mention me. He kind of hates me, but he's got your back. <laughs> kind of funny. All right, where am I going? Kalita Exploration Camp. Okay. Taming gives mana. Okay. I'm already at G8. Yeah, I finished G3 yesterday, but G7 is so short. It was so short. Oh, this guy. Here we go. Uh, Erskine Bank. Technically speaking, this place is a bank. Oh, by the way, my name is Arnin. Arnin. I haven't done any fossil restoration in some time. Where'd you even hear that I do this? This item is quite intriguing, which draws my curiosity, but it's going to cost you some money. Wait, on second thought, 
Actual goods might be better than money. I hear that the price of sulfur ore has been up lately. I'll attempt to restore this item if you bring me 10 sulfur ore. Sulfur ore? Oh, speaking of, I need to go, I need to go to my homestead real quick. I forgot I needed to, I need to do, I need to mine my homestead stones. Where do I get sulfur ore? I don't think I've ever gotten sulfur ore before. Hold on, I need to, I need to do this real quick. Thanks, Edwarden! Remember to take hydration checks for yourself, too. It goes for everyone in chat. Drink your water. We flew through G7s, 4th or 6th, we did. <laughs> uh, Raspa Volcano? Okay. Oh my god, Fed. Oh, Yvesu let me borrow uh, this jukebox. However, it... It's kind of, uh, I have to like redo the generations in order to unlock the songs. Which I was kind of like, well that stinks. <laughs> the fact that they're not already unlocked because I did the generations makes me kind of sad. And also you had to have like, like a, what was it, a coupon and it only lasts for a certain period of time. That's lame. But I like how it sounds in here. But that's like the only song, that and the homestead music is the only song I can use. All right, Raspa Volcano. Oh, Sulfur Ore Region. Oh, perfect. Hi, Mai. How are you doing? Happy Wednesday, everybody. Happy last day of January. We're almost into February. You get to relive the, f oh God, what's going on? I'm sulfur. Oh no. Oh, I'm taking damage. Is this what I hit? I guess so. <laughs> yay. Oh, yay. All right, I only need 10. Looks like it doesn't do too much damage, so it's okay. The sulfur ore mine is such a useless mechanic that they have shoe, that they have shoehorned sulfur into G8, and that's about it. Uh. Oh wait, what? Oh no, my pickaxe broke. Oh shoot. Uh, how do? Dang it! Is there a pickaxe? <laughs> We're gonna ah. I forgot where I bought a pickaxe from. Uh, where's a quick place I can go to that has a pickaxe? Dang it, it had to break. Right now of all times, it had to break. So wait, you're saying that the sulfur area it was only for this specific thing in generation eight? Uh, pickaxe, who sells a pickaxe? Oh God, everybody. Uh, who in, is there, okay, I can go to Fergus. All right, let me go to Tyr. I will be back. Persona 3, you're anxious? Persona 3 really, oh, why, why does that make you anxious? Oh, it used to be important to mine fossils for lav lav lava cat ropes. Wait, what? If the Doki Doki Valentine event comes back, you might get to fly. I hope so. Do y'all really think the Doki Doki event might come? Oh, that's what you do, Miguel? You can get it repaired at the base camps. Oh, 
I just bought a new one. <laughs> they put the sulfur ore area into the game but forgot to do anything else with it. Like there's a robe you can get, I guess. Oh, what does the robe look like? A lava cat robe? That sounds cool. I forgot I need to pick these up. I want to play it. Oh, because you're anxious to play it. I see. Well, you just have to wait until tomorrow. I didn't real. I totally forgot that. All right, I guess I didn't remember, remember that it's out tomorrow. That's exciting. Ooh, I got a lucky bonus. Is this 10? Oh, one more. Oh my god, lava cut cat robes, memories. I want to know more. Explain to me. You could get a lava cat robe from Fossil Restoration. Still have my all black one. Uh, so, oh, 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 like the mask is a cat. This is cute. Interesting. So you had a chance to get this robe if you did fossil restoration, like it was a reward. Was it an event? Or I guess not. Or maybe it was. So they only had this area just for those two things. Is there anything else you use with sulfur ore? Okay, let me uh, go and turn this into Kalita camp. Wait, do I have a... With this one. <clears throat> you might, uh, oh, you would restore fossils for exploration experience. Oh, I mean that you can still do that, right? Do any, do any of you guys actually level up your exploration though? Because I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been focusing on it. Um, oh, it's poison immunity. Ah. Oh, it's a rare reward in fossil restoration. Okay, so it's just a mechanic in the game. It's just a very low chance. Yes, I will be watching the state of play later. You used to have to use sulfur to make golem crystals for, to, for summon golem alchemy, but they got rid of needing sulfur. You can. I hit 50 solely with Finny Gems. Oh. Exploration is nice for stats. Oh, well, oops. I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> is that bad? Is my character ruined? There's only so much information I can take at one time, though. Uh, 1, 2, 9, 10. All right. Now that I've received 10 Sulfur Ore, I'll try to restore this relic. Okay, thank you. Now I don't smell stinky. I just smell fishy. All right, give the mirror to Kelpie. Just having Finny catching unlocked, you'll make you'll make it to explore level fifty after a few dungeon runs. Oh, maybe I have been, but I just I guess I haven't noticed. Finny catching. I have rank one Finny catching, so I guess just. Attacking monsters, it just naturally levels up. Ow. Like when the gems drop. Ow. <laughs> That's it. Time to re-roll. <laughs> Time to go as a giant. <laughs> Ruin start. Ruin start a whole new character. <laughs> uh, I used to use my chain cast fire wand for that balloon. Oh, are you talking about hot air balloon? Hi, Till. Thank you for 29 months. Hello. Join the master race. What? You're not even a giant. Your alt is a giant. <laughs> Hi, Till. All right. What's this? Mirror of memory? Oh, I'm able to slowly recall some of my lost memories. Effie. So she's my sister. I can't wait to see her again. Oh, and... Uh, Phacellus, he was one of my closest friends. I still have some of his belongings. 
When I first arrived in, in Zardine, I couldn't remember a thing. I didn't have anything with me that could help me re figure out who I was, but for some reason, I still had Phyllis's letter with me. Phyllis's letter, do you think it could be a clue to some important secret? There is a short clip of my lost memory that can be seen through the mirror of memory. Would you like to see it? Yes. There's his. Effie, did you hear the rumor? They say a new continent has been discovered. Uh, don't worry, sis. I just want to discover my dreams. I'm lost. I don't remember anything. Do you think you can take me to the elven village? So the rumor about elves with big ears living in Iria was it? Ah, my home, Philia. It's starting to come back to me slowly. Phyllis, that's my name. Thanks, Kelpie. You saved my life, and you're a precious friend. Ooh. Ah, please, help! Kelpie! Help, Kelpie! Kelpie! What happened? Can they slow this down? Please? Okay. Void's friend. Clear the Kelpie RP dungeon. Drop the letter to on the Longa Desert. Okay. Alright. Ooh, what happened? We're getting everything explained. Time for some big elf lore. When you do his RP dungeon, they explain what happened. Oh, okay. All right, well, here we go. Oh, no, my cloud is yellow. Oh, it looks cool. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it changed. All right, so I have to drop... Hmm... Kelpie's, or no, Faith's letter. Faith, Faith's Oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Can't, can't, can't summon a pet, because it's RP. Whoa, creepy. Oh, there's the chieftain. Oh, why she blew a kiss to him? She kissed him goodbye? Oh, you may not enter the dungeon if an animal character is summoned at the moment. Oh, that's okay. All right, I'm playing as Kelpie. Okay, we got we got some combat. All right, let me put this up. Oh, he has windmill. Oh, he has he also has final hit. Okay, cool. All right, we got first aid and rest just in case. <laughs> <sighs> she said, "Get him, boys." Oh, is that what she was doing? <laughs> All right, so I guess the guy in the robe was Phyllis, his friend. Yeah. I'm gonna take that potion just in case. Ooh, what's this? Sketch paper? Stinky cloud. <laughs> My sulfur cloud. Why did I put smash on two? Wow, he's strong. Alright, let's go protect your friend who's being attacked by the chieftain. Whoa. So she's leading this these this this cult. This these ba band of hooligans. Keep switching that off. Oh, geez, so many. You know what to do when it's like that. Oh, oh shoot. Haha, -ha, you barely do any damage to me. Suckers.
Yeah. All right. It's the rainbow trout colt. <laughs> he swiped for sure. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, I'm going the right way. All right, here we go. Faceless, you already know too much. This is going to be painful for a little bit, so hang in there. Faceless, just hang in there. I'll help you. Oh, it's Kelpie. We made it just in time. Ah, where am I? I don't remember anything. Faceless, it's me, Kelpie. Why can't you remember me? What happened here? Castania, isn't Faceless an elf just like you? How could you do something so cruel to your own kind? Wait, oh, he already knew what she did? Wow. It's coming to conclusions really fast. There is an old legend that goes like this. Once there was a village with a strange disease going around that would affect people to suddenly lose their memory. Soon the disease spread throughout the entire town and the town residents would even forget the name of common everyday items. While this was happening, there was this young man who had yet to contract the disease. He went around putting labels on every item, trying to minimize the damage done by the disease. He would write labels such as, this is a tree, this is a sheep, please share the sheep, <laughs> this is a chicken, it can lay, lay eggs, and so on. The young man placed a very large sign at the town entrance. On it, he wrote, God exists. This is a moral to, there is a moral to this short story. What we call memory is so incomplete that everything we've accumulated over our entire lives can burst like a bubble in an instant. Starting from a simple cooking recipe or how to make a potion to the memories you shared with close friends and, and your loved ones, they will one day all disappear. She's right, chat. <laughs> My memory sucks. But if we do forget all these things, it might not even be such a big deal. Kelpie, you too must understand, this has been brought upon by none other than Phalus himself. <gasps> What's happening? What? So Kelpie, I see that you've ended up witnessing everything as well. You're right, the hideous desert ghost. That is the true nature of elves. Wait, what? She turned him into that? What? Irinid didn't ha didn't just leave their blessing on Iria. They left a they left with us elves an unforgettable curse. The desert transmorgification is an incurable disease that has resulted from the curse. Oh, so if they forget their memory, they become these things? Who is Irinid? Uh, every elf in Philia has no choice but to one day turn into one of those disgraceful desert ghosts, just like Phaelus. <gasps> I love our elf race more than anything. I believe I can sacrifice anything for it. I don't want them to discover the truth and be in despair because of it. So we must use the memory tower to erase their memories. I didn't read that last part, darn it. What did that last part say? Oh my god. I'm gonna turn into a desert ghoul? It's inevitable? What? I'm sorry, Kelpie. I didn't want it to come to this. However, this is the only way to protect you. <gasps> ah! What are you doing to me? Just like that, his memory is vanished. Kelpie, I will now erase your memory. Oh, but you can't re uh, erase a memory that was in a letter. Ha <laughs> ha. Elves are cursed to become desert ghouls if they forget for too long or something. Gosh dang. So does she just keep resetting everybody's memories so that doesn't happen? That's what the tower does? Maybe being human isn't so bad after all. Erinid <laughs> is one of the goddesses. Uh, she gets explained later on. Okay. 
The memory tower prevents the elves from learning about the curse, but the curse has since been lifted for some reason. The tower was torn down. Wait, it was? Oh, yeah, I don't... Yeah, wait, where is the tower? Oh, well, at least it was uh, here. Wait, where am I going? Okay. All right. Okay, we are here now. Why isn't this colored in? Oh, Irina's curse. Okay. All right, Irina's curse. Talk to Kelpie at the Kalita Exploration Camp. Okay. All right, talk to Kelpie. Oh, it's in front of you in the lake? Oh, I'm blind. I didn't see it. <laughs> Ask to borrow some cash. Reset memory again. Ask again. Repeat. I'm rich. <laughs> that's not very nice, Rhea, but that's a good idea. We could do it with that rich guy in, in, in Maine. The one that drops coins everywhere. Hi, Koji. I can't believe Phyllis has turned into a desert ghost. I despise Cassania, but if she's the one who erased, but if she's the one who erased my memory, she must also know how to restore it. Here, take this item. It'll help you jo help you journey to Philia. I was just there. All right, go to Philia. Okay, wait. Where is the tower? You said it's in the lake. Oh, this. Oh, it's not very big. I guess that's why I assumed it wasn't a tower. <laughs> it's not really a tower. Kind of. Okay, so we need to go to Castania. Oh, God. Chief's house. Here we go. So she's doing it because she thought she was helping everybody. But if she's erasing their memory, wouldn't that speed up the process of becoming a desert ghost? Oh, it's, it was changed. What? The tower used to stand in Philia before Iria got a facelift. Oh, oh, they changed how the town looks recently. It's crumbled up in the oasis. Okay, I'll, I'll look at it. I'll go back and I'll look at it. Oh, sorry. My bad. Thanks, Ronnie. <laughs> uh, you already know everything, so I shall not attempt to deny uh, any of it. And But my convictions have not changed. I do not know how to restore Kelpie's memory. All I can tell you is this. The memory tower used to manipulate memories was made in the image of the relic left by Irinid. Perhaps the answer rests in Zardine, where all of this started. If you wish to make your way to Zardine now, I will give you an item that may help you. If you receive my blessing... Oh, that's something else. Okay. Alright. Hold on, I want to see. I want to find this tower. I will find this tower. Oh, this was the tower. Oh, this was the tower. Is there an explanation why it looks like this? Is it just because... Well, did she said she used it to do Kelpie's... So she must have used it not too long ago, right? Why is it like this? Is it because of the story I haven't gotten to yet? You can't forget memories you don't have. <laughs> uh, that's back when Cassania used to brainwash people more. What? Hi, Peach Bia. I don't know what exactly the curse is considering. It's been retconned out of the plot. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> the giants came and invaded the elves and... Oh, and that's what was left of the wreckage? <laughs> oh, okay. Basically, elves slowly get turned into desert ghosts. They lose their personalities. Dang. She did it so they wouldn't know about the curse and panic and stuff. But, but they're all starting to lose their memories again. So it's going to happen again. 
Talk to Belita at the Kalita camp. Okay. All right. Um, let us go. Belita. Belita. What do you want? You must have come because you need something from me. Well, if you want to learn more about Zardine, then you must first learn about the Gold Dragon. Although, you should keep in mind that legends are legends after all. We may never know just how much truth there is to such stories. In any case, it is said that the Gold Dragon is born and destroyed every few thousand years. Some people interpret the legend in symbolic terms rather than as a physical phenomenon that actually occurs. But anyway, during its birth, the dragon apparently goes through a process known as the conduction ceremony, right? You must call it a mo you you might call it a moment in which the dragon becomes one with an existential uh, being of Aaron. The character of the chosen being, known as the conductor, supposedly determines whether the gold dragon is to turn evil or grow into a dragon that fights for the good of Aaron. Ooh. The birth of a new gold dragon and a conduction ceremony is scheduled to come to pass. As the day approaches, the activity of the two rival forces, the blue dragon and the red dragon, have been unusual. We can't predict exactly when the scheduled conduction ceremony will occur, but there have already been strange signs that have been confirmed. Would you like to help me with a few missions? First, there seems to be a huge disparity of temperature inside the flints as we approach the conduction ceremony. The flints? Could you get me 10 flints so that I may analyze them? Okay, how do I get flint? How do you get flints? Cassania should have used the men in black things instead. <laughs> the little thing. <laughs> they also have memory issues. The memory tower restored their memories for them. She just had control over which memories got stored. Oh, that makes sense. So it was a blessing and a curse because she could wipe their memories whenever she wanted. Too much power for one lady. Too much power. <clears throat> the ancient Irina descended upon Iria long ago. She met or created the elves and the giants. Then dragons arrived to conquer Iria. Irina bestowed upon the giant strength and the elves' wisdom. And together with Irina, they defeated and sealed away the dragons. Whoa. Thank you, Orca. Oh, Kelpie. Okay. Ten flint. Oh, wait. Isn't flint used for the hot air balloons? Oh, my God, it is. Okay, so I need ten. Okay. Hmm, judging by the crystal inside the flints, they seem to be different from their usual state. But this isn't enough evidence. I heard that the animals near the volcanic region have become extremely unsettled recently. Could you help me study these animals? If you could tame some wild, wild animals, that might just be what we need. <gasps> Perfect. I, I have this from the recent mission that I did. So this is perfect. All right. What do I have to tame an anteater? Okay. All right. Let's go tame an anteater. Taming an anteater is going to tell us everything, chat. <sighs> uh, you need to mine the lava rocks at Raspa Volcano during rain. Oh, or you just buy them, I guess. Oh, here's one. Hello, sir. This one's an ancient. Oh, I didn't do it. Please don't attack me. Oh, dang it. Well, at least I'm leveling it up. <laughs> uh, if you really want to make it fun, yeah, go mine the flint. <laughs> I didn't do that. <laughs> I cheated. All right, tame a volcano horned wild boar. Uh, okay, it's a little bit further away. Oops, I didn't mean to bomb everything. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, is there 
an easier is there like oh i can't see i was wondering if there was like a mana tunnel that was closer if there is an evil dragon just gotta call astinian he'll dragoon jump across games <laughs> that would be nice but after the war, the elves and the giants became greedy and fought each other for control of Iria. Oh, the Aranad cursed them by locking the giants in an endless winter, robbing them of their strength. She transported the elves' land into desert and stole their memories. Wow. That explains a lot. Cool. Oh wait, there was something I could have done. Oh well. Back in my day, we had to mine the rocks. <laughs> Are these the rocks you're talking about? Okay, I need to... Volcano Horned Wild Boar. Oh, here we go. Perfect. All right, sir, let me tame you, please. You're not pretty much said skill issue. <laughs> I mean, it's our, f it was the elves and the giants fault for being so, oh God. Oh, oh. for being so greedy. They got what they deserved, I guess. All right, we have to go back to the base or exploration camp. The base camp. Kalida. Yeah, those were the rocks only mineable in the rain. That makes sense. Because then it's too hot, I guess. It has been confirmed that the entire ecosystem of Zardine has been affected by the conduction ceremony. We're currently drawing up plans to investigate certain regions we think may be the location in which the conduction ceremony might occur. Unfortunately, those wyverns have become so aggressive as of late that it's become difficult to even launch a hot air balloon from anywhere in Zardine. Kylie, you're the expert. When it comes to such things, aren't you... Oh, you're the expert when it comes to such things, aren't you? Could you lend me a hand? Obtain at least one star by defeating wyverns. Oh shoot, I need to do hot air balloon. Does anybody want to join me? Anybody want to drive for me? <laughs> I'm the worst at driving on these things. It's so difficult. Back in my day, you could all you almost had to climb the mount with your bare hands. We hear a lot of back in my days in this channel. Taming took hours. You had to weaken them to increase taming chance. Oh, really? Wow, they they made that really easy. I didn't have to. I didn't have to struggle very much with that. Um. Oh, is that what the tower looked like? Um, I see. So that's, okay, so that's what the tower, right, right, right. Thanks for sending that to me. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I think Kelpie sells the hot air balloon stuff. All right. All right, uh, I guess I'll get a small one and then maybe like five flint. Okay. Uh, where is the wyvern? Y'all said, where is the wyverns again? Oh shoot, I had my head out. Um... I think this way. I remember seeing, oh, there they are, there they are. Okay. All right. Use. Um, oh, okay. How does this work? 
of takeoff. Sorry, Fed. <laughs> Back in my day, I never used to play this game, so I have nothing to say. It's okay. You're good, Rhea. Okay, let me just go. Oh, here we go. Come to me, wyverns. I only need one star, apparently. Oh, wait, let me put my... Oh, there we go. Is that a star? Or do they mean, like, a big star? Oh, there we go. I finished. That was easy. Land. <laughs> I'm thinking that's what that is. Oh, yeah, there we go. Going down. <laughs> All right, what's the next thing? Talk to Bolita at the Kalita Exploration Camp. All right. Time to go back. How do I? Okay, there we go. Easy peasy. I thought that was going to be harder. <laughs> you cannot teleport while in combat. Oh. The Renan sealed away the dragons in Zardine. She also sealed away demons and evil spirits, but the seals are be beginning to weaken. And some of the dragons seek to break free from their prison in Zardine. Oh, dang. Is that what this conduction ceremony is all about? Or is this different? No, the conduction ceremony is the gold dragon. Right? And, and Rari or whatever can choose if he wants it to be evil or not evil. Good job. Since you were able to keep the wyverns away, the hot air balloon exploration went smoothly. I was able to narrow down the potential sites of where the conduction ceremony might occur to a few locations. But I think instead of exploring them all on my own, it would be more effective if you and I split the locations. Here, I have an extra hot air balloon, so use this. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, observe volcanic activity. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. You gotta fly the hot air balloon over the volcano. Just use the hot air balloon? Oh, I just use it? Do, do I have to get closer to the volcano? Wait, there's two volcanoes. I think the conduction ceremony has something to do with it. Oh, okay. Uh, fly over it and you get a cutscene? How do you fly over a volcano? It sounds very dangerous. Oh, I got a sneeze. Ah. All right, well, let me head towards the volcano, I guess. To the volcano. Oh, you don't have to go? <laughs> Back in my days, there's no flying pets. <laughs> Just use it. Use oh, got it. She's like, Bye, don't die. Cool. Oh, uh oh, I'm being attacked by wyverns. Get out of here, you're worthless beings! Oh, <gasps> whoa! The red dragon saved me? Wait, we kill them all the time doing airship commerce. Oh, shoot. Well, technically we fail, actually. I take that back. Whoa, what's going on? Mina. I'm glad I didn't arrive too late. Everyone was able to stay safe because of the divine protection of Adniel. Adniel? I forgot to introduce myself. I'm the leader of the Red Dragon, Krumina. 
I'm sure you've already experienced it, but there are evil dragons in Zardine that threaten the safety of the world. Cool. There's already two dragons I've seen. <laughs> Back in my day, there were no pets. Woo. Fireproof elixir? What? Music's gone. Oh, yeah, the music's on right now. Can you not hear it, Jai? Or wait, no, no, you're talking about the... <laughs> Never mind. They have bought into... They have bought into their own twisted logic, and they are endangering not only Zardine and Iria, but all of Eren as well. I've never seen wyverns as agitated as they are these days. Unlike their appearance, they are actually quite sensitive creatures. They must be sensing some kind of omen taking place. It is a counter it is counter evidence that the resurrection of the gold dragon Adniel is drawing near. Oh, by fate Adniel will connect with a being of this world that will become its conductor through a special ceremony. The group of evil dragons are devising an evil plan just in time for Adniel's conduction ceremony. <laughs> Just like its symbolic name, Gold Dragon, Adniel will have si significant influence in the future of this world. As of now, I might be able to help you, but soon our roles will reverse and I might be the one in danger. If and when that time comes, please remember me and lend me your help. Oh, so the red dragon's a good dragon. A good dragon. May the divine protection of Adniel always be with you. Cool. <laughs> right. Ah, red dragon. Wow. Talk to Belita. All right, I'm gonna talk to Belita, but then I wanna. Oh, I wanna go and take a little lunch break because I'm getting really hungry, and I just realized it's 12:42. This these stories have been good so far. I like this. I like it. It was a, I, I, yeah, I like it. I like it. Hmm, you should consider yourself lucky to have met Krumina. I was, uh, I was also once helped greatly by Krumina, but you should know that Zardine is an extremely dangerous place. You can't exactly expect Krumina to show up and help you every time. Perhaps if you take some Irinid bolts with you, you'll be safe. During the ancient Irinid war, the dragons were sacrificed by Irinid's magic. The remains of the ancient magic have been preserved till the day, till this day in fossils that can be seen as the remains of the dragons. You would think that the dragons would hate us, seeing, seeing what Irinid did to them, but some of them are good, so. Um... Ancient magic. Uh, that is a secret that is contained in the Irinid Bolt. You, you'll, you'll need to gather some materials to make yourself an Irinid Bolt, though. Okay, so I guess I, that'll be what I do when I get back from my lunch break. Give a restored fossil to Belita at the Kalita Exploration Camp. All right, I guess I'm gonna have to, uh, wait, restored fossil? Uh... How do I get one of those? Go back to doing some more of this. Oh. Okay, all right. Uh, where did I leave off? Oh yeah, I need to get a fossil or something. All right, two, okay, hold on. Let me get my pickaxe. Okay, and then I need to go to the sulfur ore. Okay, there we go. All right, I have to find a fossil apparently. Welcome back, thank you. I made some chicken nuggets and I was watching Korean drama. <laughs> and then I went outside for a little bit. It was nice. So how, how rare, oh I still have the star above my head. How rare is a fossil? Is the fossil very rare? Well, let me turn this on. I don't know if I want to pick up the sulfur ore. Worka, you did this 
orcs, right? Did you did you get a fossil ore kind of quickly from what you can remember? Kind of rare. You get them more commonly from mining sulfur golems. Oh, mining sulfur golems. Wait, you can mine the oh these things. Won't these things attack me? Sir, let me, uh, let me mine you. Ah! Okay, I take it back. I take it back. Ah, I take it back! I take it back! I take it back! I won't mine you! I won't! Oh my god! Ow! Oh, I do, like, no damage. <laughs> that feels like a bad idea, because it was. <laughs> I'll just do it the other way. <laughs> I know I mined a lot of silver, but I don't remember why. <laughs> this is probably why, Orca. Can I mine him after he's dead? Is that a thing? Oh, no. Never mind. Okay. Well, it's alright. I'll just do it this way, I guess. Mom fossil. <sighs> That's what I ask the stone taluses to, but they just don't listen either. <laughs> I think you can mine them if you use lullaby. Oh, do I have lullaby? Oh, I do. Where's another one? Oh, is that one over there? Okay, let me use lullaby. Let's try lullaby then. Um, okay. All right, oh. Oh, is that one dead? Is that the one I killed? Okay, let's do this one. All right, I have rank nine lullaby. Okay, there we go. All right, now we mine. Ah, this is smarter. How long does lullaby last? Oh, uh-oh, not long. Ah! Come here. It's not working. Ah! Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. <laughs> okay, never mind. It's not a good idea. You can only lullaby them once. Should have told me that earlier. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, they walk away. <laughs> Okay, well, I can say I tried. Uh, I feel like this is better. I'm gonna keep doing this. This one for sure has a fossil. I can feel it. It has a fossil. It has one. Hi, Boiler. How are you today? Hello. If I get rank one, can I use lullaby more often or no? It <laughs> does it though. It does. Just believe. Maybe not that one. This one does though. This one has fossil written on its front side. 100%. Hmm. I asked this at the beginning of my stream, guys, but I'm currently I'm currently setting up a fashion show, a Valentine's fashion show. I whoa! Oh dang it! None of them had fossils in it, but I got a huge lucky bonus. Look at that. Anyways, if you guys want to be a part of my Valentine fashion show, it's going to be coming up soon. It's probably going to be the weekend before Valentine's It will be the weekend before Valentine's Day. Um, everybody's... Oh. Hey, I guess that one didn't have it. <laughs> um, but everybody's welcome to join. We'll have, we'll have uh, like a cool little band playing. It's going to be on my 
homestead. I have my homestead decorated. I do need another wedding aisle. If any of you guys can let me borrow one or buy it from you, I'd appreciate it. I need one more though. Um, uh, is there homestead wedding? Let's see if, yeah, it's, there's still no more on the auction house. But I have two, I need one more. And then, because then it makes the line longer, the runway longer. But if you guys see any, will you let me know? I would appreciate it. Hi, Specky. How are you? Rank one lasts for nine seconds. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, I have to look for another place. Okay. Isn't this the place I came from? I need to go over here. For 20k would that work if I just buy one <laughs> should I just buy one or should we should we do it back in the old days I had to use to mine a fossil I kind of I'm actually kind of curious I want to see what the fossil looks like myself I need to do this the legit state of play is today. Yes, I have a feeling I'm going to forget. Uh, if you guys could please remind me. <laughs> it's going to be at 4 p.m. Central Time today. And it's going to be a 40 minute show, but I would I, I would like to watch it with you guys. Y'all just gonna have to remind me because I feel like every time 4 p.m. hits, I go in my like, I don't know, sleepy stage and I forget. It's usually, oh, I found one. I did it! I usually am sleepy right after stream, so I go and take a nap, so <laughs> please remind me. Uh, I found it! I found a fossil! Woo! You're lucky! Here it is! Woohoo! Look at your flashy gold car! You found four from Golems? Oh, <laughs> the timing on that. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, wait, what do I do now? Do I go back to Belita? Wait, how do I restore it? How do I restore a fossil? Do I have to go to Void? Oh. Yeah, how do you restore it? Do I just click use? Um, I'm sleepy, trying to stay up for the state of play, but I didn't sleep last night. Oh no, why didn't you sleep last night? Oh my god, I had the weirdest, craziest dream last night. Shoot, I really wanted to tell you guys, because I remember I woke up and I started laughing at myself for dreaming a stupid dream like that. Crap, I'm not going to remember it, am I? It was something really silly. I should have wrote it down. Darn it! Buy it, support the miners who got it, and post and posted it up for sale. <laughs> support the workers! Ah, it's 40 minutes covering 15 plus games. Yeah, I think it'll be fun to watch. Yes. Why'd you say, oh boy? Use. Oh. Whoa, what do I do? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What do I, what am I doing? Well, what do I do? What is this? TikTok? How can I cancel? What? Oh. Erase the outside? Oh. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, it turned red. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Am I going to fail now? Do I have to do the inside too? Is this good enough? Oh my god, what is this? Complete. Did I fail? Did I do good? Oh, I did it. Oh no. I didn't do good. 
I got a restored pelvis. Is that good enough? Oh. Hmm. Oh, I have to give it to her. Maybe I have to, like, actually hand it to her. I fail that bad? Pain. It's a drawing mini game. Oh my god, it reminds me of that. Oh, what is that thing called on the Squid Game where you have to like cut out the cookie? The Dolga, Dol, Dolga, or I'm forgetting what it's called. Well, luckily, Eridus is here to save the day. <laughs> Thanks, Eridus. All right, cool. This is fun. Ooh, all right. Cool, everything is a mini game in this game. Let's see if I can do really good. Oops. Am I, is the gold not get any red? I have more time this time. I need like my wake up tablet or something. I feel like that would be easy. How do I know if I've, if I, if I've done it, like, well enough? This is cool. Oh wait, complete. The fossil's really nice! I did it! There we go. Oh, show fossil! Oh, oh, I had to click show fossil on her. It has really been delicately restored, I'm impressed. Cool. Now you need to get the ruby. In order to contain the power, powerful marrow of Aranad, we need something strong that will act as a bowl. Ruby is the perfect gem for that. While you get the ruby, I'll extract Aranad's crystal from the fossil. Here, get this too. So I get gold and exploration. So wait, how do I get a lava cap rope? Cool. Wait, did I level? Is that what that is? Oh, I did. Uh, I wanna keep doing it. Might as well do all three, right? Cool! I suck at this. No cancel? Oh. She should have an another option. Sorry, I read that too late. Kojima advertised the state of play so people think we will see Death Stranding 2. Maybe. Your hand is so smooth at this. Uh, <laughs> thanks! I used to be, like, long, long ago, I used to work, haha, <laughs> I used to work for Fossil. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, I used to work for Fossil, the watch company, and I worked at the corporate, and I was a, um, digital imaging specialist. Basically the people that take the photos that they put on the web and they just make the photos look better. As in like they cut out the background, they like get some dust off of it, stuff, but they do that all in Photoshop. That's how I learned Photoshop, actually. But anyways, I wonder if that's, I wonder if, and I obviously still use Photoshop to this day, so I wonder if that's why. Ha 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 ha. I'm gonna also assume it's just because of my mouse. <laughs> If you hear them in, if you turn them into her, you have a chance to get a robe. <gasps> okay, let's try. Maybe I can get a robe. It was worth three mil. How do I know, oops, that was bad. Um, how do I know if like, <clears throat> it'll be good enough to get a robe or is it like completely random? Okay, if it's like a little bit red, or once it like goes any part of the red, then you're like done. Oh, shoot, I did too much talking. Oh, I didn't do that good, but that's okay. New money maker unlocked. <laughs> 
something different does it turn into something different if I do good versus bad or maybe it's how much gold you get from it maybe that's it back in my day there weren't fossils yet <laughs> that's quite the coincidence Try again. Trying with no red. No red is the goal. Gotta do like the outside first. Also, I have to like zoom in a little or like get closer to my screen. <laughs> Cause this is tiny. I feel like this I would do I think I would do better if it if this window is slightly bigger. Just ever so slightly. Ah! Freaking the timer, man! Freaking me out! Ah! See if fossil's really nice, but it's still called the same. All right, one last one. One last one. Too bad we couldn't get like excellent. Has anybody ever gotten like the best result from this mini game? Is there like a scoreboard anywhere to be like, oh, Do we turn this into blathers? I did get a little red, but that's okay. I think a little red doesn't hurt anybody. Ah. Good enough. You get a title? Oh. So it has to be used as a weapon, okay. The secret is to combine the ballista bolt, the crystal I just handed to you, and the sulfur ore together. When you complete it, bring it to me. What? Oh, what's so funny is I actually have ballista bolts. They're in here, though. Uh, and I don't have any more sulfur ore. Darn it! I just put my freaking... Ah! I wish I knew I needed to keep one. That's okay. I can go back. All right, sulfur ore. Coming back for you. Wait, how many do I need? Give the ballista bolt. Oh, I have to use the handicraft skill. Oh, I don't have a handicraft. Dang it! <laughs> I need to get a handicraft kit. Oh, here we go. I think I'm gonna get a couple. Just I'm gonna get ten just in case because I don't know how how many I need. Have you ranked it up at all? No, it's rank E. 
I I haven't done Oh look! Two fossils! Cool. Ooh, lucky bonus. Wow, I got two fossils that time. This was where all the fossils were. Okay, yeah, I don't know how many sulfur were, so I'll just get a bunch before I leave. There's other piles of rocks in the world, you know. Don't sass me. Am I not going to be able to make the bolt because I haven't ranked up my handicraft skill? To be fair, I haven't really done research on handicraft. Also, I don't plan to... At least my idea wasn't to do generations all day, but maybe that's what's going to end up happening. All right, let me go to Dumbarton, get a handicraft kit. I don't have one. I always drop them when I don't need them anymore. <laughs> I should probably just make it a point to just keep them. Okay. Eh. You need a seven for one attempt, but I don't know what your success is. Okay. Oh, it's a rank F recipe, so no worries. Oh, good to know. Haha. <laughs> That's cool. Ooh, look, there's a girl on his desk. Hi, Dibril. Hey. Oh. I didn't mean to put the... Hi. <laughs> Alright. Handicraft. Alright, let's see if I get lucky. I'm making a bolt. For generation quest. <laughs> All right, how do I do this? Um, crystal. Can I? Oh, I can. Okay, bolt and sulfur ore. I'm glad I did one. Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Easy, easy. Uh -huh. Y'all are so sweet. <laughs> I made it. Easy peasy. Oh, now we gotta restore this. <gasps> this is different. Wait, this is a skull. Cool. Hold on. Ooh, the rain is kind of a relaxing sound. Oops. How good do you have to be to get the ambidextrous title? Are any of you guys ambidextrous? Like in real life? <laughs> because that's a talent. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's kind of hard paying attention to the timer. Okay, 99.8%, oh God. I'm only getting fossils nice. <laughs> oh, I got another skull. Okay, let's try again. I wonder if clicking is easier. I feel like the clicking messes me up. I'm, I like dragging it across. Oops. Oh shoot, I did bad. No, it's ruined. I ruined it. <laughs> that precision is scary. Oh, really? Oh, it's still nice. Cool. All right, so what now? What do we do now? Uh, give an inner bolt to Belita. Okay, back to uh, Kalita. Belita, Kalita. Hi, Jibril. Okay, we got this. Maybe, maybe I'll get the lava cat robe. Woo. 
Give it to me. Oh, shoot. I was supposed to read this. I'll give you a specially modified hot air balloon so that you can use a ballista bolt on it. Good thing the bolt was completed in time. Oops, I'm so used to skipping. Or not skipping, skip. Uh, you know what I mean. <gasps> oh, no, I failed. Oh, well. At least I'm getting experience, <laughs> I guess. All right, what do I need to do? I need to uh, help crew Mina. The hot air balloon. Oh, do I just use the hot air balloon again like last time? My parents never paid for that DLC. Wait, what DLC? <laughs> for the <laughs> ambidextrous? <laughs> that precision is scary. You move so fast with such a large brush near the head. I start sweating. Oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Use. Ooh. Wow. There's Crom Crotch. Why are they fighting? Why is there no music? <laughs> Did I forget to turn the music on? That's my bad. Dang it. Oh well, listen to the sound effects. <laughs> oh no. Wow. Ah! Wow. Oh, he's knocking him in the volcano. Oh no, he knocked him in the volcano. Oh! <gasps> Ha ha ha, everything seems to be going exactly as planned. Wait, why did he put him in the volcano? Don't we need him for the gold dragon? Ha ha, Crom Crotch, are you still breathing from the depths of the lava pit? Please forgive these foolish little creatures. That poor creature has not the slightest clue what just occurred. Ha ha ha. Are they talking about me? What do you mean as planned? Krumina? Were you using myth this entire time? Oh, <gasps> Krumina's the evil one! And did you just mention Krum Quatch? Wait, then was it Rari? Your level of foolishness hasn't changed much from the days of Irinid. From the days of Irinid? Wait, they're evil all along! <laughs> Lol, bye. <laughs> Oh no, back then you might have been the last one standing thanks to Irinid, but the, there appears to be not on, bleh, but there appears to be not even an ounce of hope left for you this time. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, I'm evil. I'm red. He's a red dragon, I should have known. Red is evil colors. <laughs> okay, well, let me turn the music back on. That probably would have been a lot better with music. <laughs> My bad. No! We were fooled! Wow. Shame on us. I guess. <laughs> we got got. We did get got. Uh, Legatus. Uh, who is Legatus? Oh, Legatus. Allegatus, I'm coming, Allegatus. Allegatus is advised. Oh, blue dragon. All right, we know he's not evil. Wow, another dragon. Hello. <laughs> there we go, that's better. My name is Elegatus. I am Kalita's dragon. You don't have to explain what happened at Lava Fall. I already know. Wow. Word travels fast, guys. It's not your fault that you fell into the trap of the wicked red dragon, Krumina. Don't be so hard on yourself. Okay. Kylie, it's rude to stare. <laughs> Where, where it really is, Crom Crunch. Um, I don't know 
I don't know how someone from this world was able to get involved so heavily regarding the fate of the dragon race, but I get the feeling that this too must have been fate. Originally, Iria was ruled by dragons. The arrogance of the dragons brought Irinid to this land, and after losing the Irinid war, the dragons were exiled to the barren land of Zardine. Oh, that's why they're all here. Okay. Within the barrier drawn by Irinid, our race decided to endure and accept what can be seen as our punishment. Hmm. <laughs> Rhea. <laughs> However, there are those who viewed this way of life for the dragons as feeble and disgraceful. Uh, these were the red dragons, the ones who, after being defeated at the Irinid War, lost their power and had to walk the path of shame. Mm. Although what they envisioned was a revolution and not peace, it could not be done with, within the dragon society of Zardine, where the blue dragons were already in control. But now an opportunity has been given to them. The gold dragon, Adniel's conduction ceremony, is nearing, and the red dragons are planning to use this event for political gain. Their first move will probably be trying to set up a trap for Cromcrotch. You should know that you, too, were probably used for their scheme. But they already did set up a trap, I guess. That was him falling in the lava pit. Cromcrotch is not only the leader of the blue dragons, he's the leader? Is he blue? He's gray. But also the dragon that represents Zardine. At the time, it was leading the dragon's contractor, a red-haired human, to Iria to prepare for the conduction ceremony of the gold dragon. Wait, at the time, it was leading the dragon's contractor? Oh, okay. Although Cromcrotch fell into a lava pit, the hottest part of Zardine, it's too early to give up hope yet. Right before Cromcrotch died, it was able to protect the dragon's contractor by using its final protection magic. Okay, so even though the dragon died, Rari's okay. Alright. I can still feel the red-haired human breathing. If you could get your hands on the Fissus Snow Crystal. I forgot to get- I forgot to keep one, Orca which can break through the scorching heat of lava fall, you might still be able to turn back the costly error, error that you unknowingly made. Is there something else? No! I never kept it! Shoot. We had, we each had like two or three. I know. I know. Ugh. Dang it. Do y'all want to run um, a dungeon? Oh. Oh, he's sleeping now. Oh, oh, just kidding. He's just a baby. Uh, let's go to bar. <laughs> Hoard everything. I know, I should have. I should have taken that advice. So y'all want to go run par dungeon with me to get a snow crystal? Because I need a snow crystal. <laughs> what is this? Playing Mavi the way it was meant to be. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow, everything looks bigger. <laughs> That's the resolution it's supposed to be in. <laughs> Wait, that's funny. Wait. That's funny. Um. Yeah, I have one if you want to use it. Oh. Wait, yes. Wait, you have one? It says use it to find right. Uh, snow crystal can be required and then you can... Or you can purchase it from the auction house. But what do I do with it? It just says get one. Okay. All right. Consider it to have bought from the auction house, or I just I did it later. I did it earlier. Okay. Now what do I do? Go to the volcano. Volcano. Oh darn it! I thought it was called volcano for a reason. 
Okay, well, shoot. Thanks, Eridus. <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Dungeon, never mind. All right, we need to go to the volcano. Uh, which, which one? Raspa, you said? Raspa? Okay, all right, here we go. Ooh, it's nice and dark and spooky. Oh, here we go. All right, this snow crystal will be our only hope. Oh, here we go. Was this the lava pit? Why is it? Oh, is it empty because of my snow crystal? Oh, just kidding. <gasps> there he is! That's so sad the dragon had to sacrifice himself. The shackles on the burning land have been broken and lifeless soil is seeping through. I see it all and I know the fate of this benighted continent. How long have I been dreaming that dream now? That's the same dream again and again. Rari, your existence is bound as the dragon's contractor. That's why you've been chosen to take part in Adniel's conduction ceremony. You're the only hope against Krumina's scheming. No, my work as the dragon's contractor is done. Or are you saying you really haven't figured it out even now? Since the beginning, Aaron's fate has been intertwined with yours, Kylie. Me? I'm more of a go-between, an intermediary whose job is... It was to bring the true conductor here to Iria. <gasps> Still, even one chosen as the conductor can't change the world just by virtue of that role. It takes a will of adamant to bend fate towards your own hopes. The shackles on the burning land have already been broken and the omen of darkness has begun to cast its shadow across this world. Maybe it's our folly trying to confront a future we've no hope of changing. It's possible that in the days to come, we'll realize that the very idea of hope itself has died. The world, the word falling silent on every tongue. How nice. Lovely. <laughs> oh, we're almost done, guys. All right, Ferrari Survivor, talk to Belita. All right, Belita. Cool. Wait, so I'm supposed to be the conductor? Does the conductor turn into a dragon though? Oh God, <clears throat> I don't wanna turn into a dragon. Actually, that'd be kind of cool, I take that back. I wouldn't have guessed in a million years that Rari would still be alive. Then again, he probably would have survived even if he fell into the depths of Hades. So does that mean Rari will be chosen as Adniel's conductor? Where is the location of the conduction ceremony? Where is Rari right now? Kylie, you're not withholding any information from me, are you? Jeez, lady, let me talk. Oh, an egg. The conductor of Adniel, can you hear my voice? Is this a past thing? It is time. Ooh, I like the music. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, so it was an egg? That's the conductor? The train conductor does not transform into a train. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> Have you seen that that one really scary game where the scary game boss is like an evil train? <laughs> I think the train conductor turns into an evil train in that game. I could be wrong. I think that's what happened though. Alright, Legatus, we have to go talk to the blue dragon again. So wait, if Crom Crotch is dead, then shouldn't he be the leader of the blue dragons? Where are all these blue dragons for crying out loud? There's only one. <laughs> featuring Thomas the Tank. I would like to know or to say that Thomas the Tank Engine, it's a family like friendly show, right? It shouldn't be. Do you understand how mean Thomas the Tank is in that TV show? Oh. Wait. Come what? Uh awkward. Oh, there you go. Oh, okay, he's back. Okay. 
All right, he just had to stretch his wings. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, Thomas is a little toot and not the good time, good kind. He's like really mean <laughs> in the show. <clears throat> the evil conductor turns to an evil train and travels on its evil <laughs> railways. <laughs> Rhea. The fact that I it was able to hear Admiral's voice could now be understood as a sign, but it doesn't mean that all has already been determined. You never know, and you never know until the last moment. Cremina probably has another conductor in mind that fits the ideology of the Red Dragons. If the conduction ceremony goes the way the Red Dragon wish, Zardine will also be redefined according to the will of the Red Dragons, which will inevitably revert Iria back to a pre-ancient Iria period. Iria period. This will eventually wipe out all remnants of Irinid, which is us. Will you accept your fate as the conductor? Remember that the fate you choose could become the fate of Iria. Wow, no pressure. Do I have to fight the red dragon in order to win? Oh, what's going on? Am I gonna ride on the blue dragon? Crazy music. Oh, oh, he teleported me. Or I guess I was on his back. It just didn't show me on his back. And this is me getting off. Just picture me going, whoop. Oh, he's sleeping now. Oh, see, look, there, there's me. Don't ask where I was. <laughs> Kylie, I didn't see you on his back. Where were you? No questions asked. All right, here I am. Cool, I'm on, whoa, ooh, I'm on an island. Yeah. What do I do? Yeah. You ready? Oh, here we go. Annual's conductor. I think this is the last of Generation 8, by the way. <gasps> Shoot! <laughs> Defeat the red dragon. Oh, okay. Uh, I just casually go in and fight a red dragon by myself. All right, it counts as a Grand Master mission? Shoot, should I go and try to, I don't have a Grand Master, master mission. I don't have, I don't have one of those quests. Um, I can only do Master Apothecary and Master Tailor. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> You walked out of his armpit? If that's where you were thinking, that's a lot better than what I was thinking for you. <laughs> that's a lot better than I was thinking. Mmm. You can take people? Does anybody want to go? Peru, do you want to go? I'm assuming that's why you're here. Does anybody need the red dragon for their grandmaster? I thought he ate you at first. <laughs> and then spits me out. I might come. All right, we'll head here. Come hither. If you guys would like to join, I'm sure we'll we'll kill it in like one hit. I am assuming. I'm honestly not really sure because the red dragon when we do um airship commerce is has a lot of HP and we always like do that wrong. Or we're, we never do enough damage. And then I have seen that there's a red dragon that you can um, fight, like, in the wilds. We died to that guy. That guy hurt. I'm assuming this one's a lot easier, though. Does anybody else want to come? All right. If you don't tell me now, I'm just going to go in.
Ah, I see. All right, I'm gonna go in. Whoop. Ooh. Ha, oh, Legatus of Kalita has decided to personally get involved. Is that right? But even still, don't tell me you, Kylie, have come here chosen as Adniel's conductor. Your race is as foolish as it is arrogant. Adniel's conductor can only be a Trotta. <gasps> only a Trotta's darkness can swallow Adniel's light and open the new era of the dragon race that will arise from the moonlight of death. A Trotta? Why her? Oh, is it because she has black hair? I I heard that Adniel's conductor can't come to be unless the person willingly willingly volunteers. There's no way a Trotta would have chosen that for herself. Ha! Huh, it was indeed a Trotta herself who willingly chose to become the conductor? Ha ha! I believe this is what the people of this world call sacrifice. The only way to end the curse of Irinad upon the elves is the resurrection of the dragon that begins at the moonlight of death. Oh. Only the new world order from the dragons can eradicate the curse of Irinad and eliminate any last traces remaining on this land. Kyler, are you still holding on to the dream of becoming Adniel's conductor? If you're still dreaming, I guess dying while dreaming is not such a bad ending oh so she joined because she wants to get rid of the curse oh well shoot where's the dragon oh shoot i need to have my weapon equipped i'm not attacking hello oh god oh god Oh no. <laughs> uh oh, that's not good. Ah, run for it! Haha, <laughs> -ha, you missed me. Alright, come back down. There we go. Oh, there we go. I do no damage. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 we're doing damage. Dang it! Uh oh. What is this? Whoa! Oh my- okay. Alright. Fair. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't worry, I got- now. Oh no! Hold on one second, Peru. I should have probably bought more feathers. Okay, there- oh god. Okay, run away. Run, oh wait, this is okay. These these can easily be dodged, but I guess the lightning can't. <laughs> ah. Ow, oh, it hit me. Ah, oh, it hit me. Oh God. All right, get him. Get him. Oh God, he's gonna run towards me, isn't he? Ooh, crit hit! Strange forces are at work. Get him, Peru! Oh no! Run away! <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to spawn uh, until he goes back on the ground. <laughs> eh, awkward. Okay. All right. I I am good. Oh, shoot. Hold on one second, Peru. I got you. There we go. Alright. He's almost dead. One more hit. Oh, we did it. Yeah. Ah! Not bad for a squirmy looking bug. <gasps> but I hope you don't think it'll be over that easily. Whack! Wow. Ha ha, that was a close one. For a second, I thought I was going to end up like Chrome Crotch. But your annoying streak of luck ends here. Ha ha. Wait. <gasps> Ooh, he's on the unicorn. Ooh. 
Trotta. I came here to keep my promise. I will always be by your side. <laughs> oh, she's been there all along. Taunt? Ha! You even brought the mirror witch's unicorn. Truly fitting for Vale's greatest warrior. But it's no use. You're you'll all still you're all still a bunch of worthless bugs. Oh no! Oh, he's good. Oh god. What is that? What? Ah, oh, my my eyes! Tons! You should thought you should have thought twice about getting off that unicorn. Your uneasy movements make it too obvious that your eyesight is bad. Ha <laughs> ha. No, wait. Perhaps you're completely blind now? Ha 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 ha. Stop it! You're put, you put one finger on Tons and I'll quit my duty as the conductor. Ha! Your entire race is in danger of total annihilation to, due to the curse of Irinid. And you're telling me you're going to betray your people and choose love instead? Yes, do it. Atrada, long before you were born, I predicted the fate regarding the black-haired elf, and I have been carefully observing the entire process unfold. Your fate will not allow you to betray your race. No, Cremina, I know my own fate better than anyone else. Tons, do you still remember the sound of the wind bell? Use the Vastian now in the direction of the wind bell sound. The Vastian? Is that the name of his sword? Oh, he can hear. He might not be able to see, but he can hear. Oh, she's telling him where to where to kill the dragon. Ooh, that's... Oh, get it. Yeah! Oh, look at that! Woo! Oh, the poor unicorn's dead. Wait, when did that happen? Oh, well. Yay! Wow. How beautiful. Oh look, I'm happy. I am happy. Oh, the blue dragon. He's here. Oh, Rari's here. There's an egg. Oh, is it the gold drag? Oh, what? What? Whoa, it's already a full grown dragon. Adniel, listen, conductor of Adniel. The small light of Miss Kylie, which has been remembered as the first flame, will finally once again be remembered as the eternal flame of Rene's through the completed ceremony. Mm. He really is gold. However, the dark fate of the land that is flickering behind the shadow of the flame is not yet over. Remember, the return of Irina is not far away. Oh, what? The return? Hi, Matthew! Thanks for the 30 bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Ah, oh, the Dragon Knight. Oh. We did it! We saved Iria from the evil red dragons. Plotting their evil plan. And they and and then they're together again, which is sweet. What is uh who is that? Who is this guy? What's going on here? They're on a boat <laughs> looking menacingly at each other? Okay. <laughs> the Dragon Knight. The title given to the gold dragon's conductor who destroyed the red dragon's plan. Ha ha ha. That's me. That's me. Hey, hey, hey. Freaking go away. Okay, cool. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks for all the bits. I'm doing good. How are you? All right, if I click complete, is it going to start generation nine? It probably will. So I probably will wait to complete it because I ain't doing generation nine today. I've heard, I have heard about these generations. I have heard about them and I'm nervous. <laughs> Yay, Peru, we did it. Good job. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, clap. Clap. 
We have moved on from the evil dragon with evil plans to the menacing people on the menacing boat. <laughs> oh my god. Generation 9 is so good. Oh yeah, Pearl, you can have me. Everyone loves Generation 9. They're a lot easier now. Nothing to really worry about. Okay. Alright, I'll trust you. <laughs> Uh, the hardest part is the jousting. Wait, really? That's not going to be hard. I can do that. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Wait, it is so much easier? Okay, well, that's good to know. All right, I'm going to drop all this stuff. I'm going to keep that. Um, This. Uh, is there anything else? Okay. I think that's good. Woo! We did it, guys! Question is, now what? Because <laughs> I don't want to start Generation 9 today. We have until 4 p.m., and then at 4, we're going to watch the Sony State of Play, but that's not until 4 p.m., so we still have, like, two hours. Hi, Sarkozy! Thank you! Oh, get your mana tunnel. Okay, right. Get the mana tunnel. Should I just start from the top and then... Wait, y'all said I had to click this, right? Okay, yeah. Alright, I guess I'll get... I'll do that. Is that two of them? Why is there two so close to each other? Here, let me put on some like music or something if I'm gonna do this. Time to fish. <laughs> uh, here we go. Why don't we listen to some good old lo-fi. Lofi. <clears throat> you can talk to Blanid and get your levels. Right, but I want to do this first before I do that, correct? How do I, is this working? Am I doing this right? I am good. Thank you. Okay. I can't. I'm, I think I'm already forgetting <laughs> what they do, but. Or if I've gone to this one or not. Not what they do. All right. We're getting all the Peru. Uh, para. Excuse me. Para mana tunnels. <laughs> Your name's already confusing me, Peru. Isn't there an item you can buy to unlock all the gates? That sounds really handy. Bye! Thank you! I am going to uh, finish my work. Nice run. <laughs> yeah, thank you for coming. <laughs> and also, sorry Onyx, I, I didn't see your reply fast enough. But I think it's okay. Okay, so I got one, two, three. I need to get this one. There might be on the NX shop. Oh. What was that sound? Why did that? What was that? I don't know if I have this one, but I'm going to get it anyways. Okay, so I got, I think, all of these. <laughs> Y'all's eyesight is better than mine. If I'm missing one, let me know. I guess I can always count. I have not heard of that item, but it wouldn't surprise me if it did exist. I never went to all the mana tunnels, and I have them all unlocked. Uh, interesting. Is it because you have VIP? I mean, even I had VIP. Well, I don't have it right now. Ruin. 
Ness River Minute Panel. Is it because I'm level, I'm under 10k and that's why I'm able to click on this map and see all the dots? I'm guessing that's why I'm able to do this. I guess they assume by now you have all of these points unlocked because you went everywhere. <laughs> by, by the time you hit 10k. <laughs> Joke's on them. I guess it's maybe jokes on me. I have to do this. You can do it over 10k too, but it costs gold to teleport. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, how much gold are we talking here? Are we talking like millions of gold? Or is it like teleporting around in like Final Fantasy 14 where it's not even as much... Like, you won't even notice it gone, kind of small amount. Depends how long of a distance you travel. Oh, okay, from continent to continent, I guess. If you teleport often, you'll notice it. Oh, okay. Five hundred to ten k teleport. Wow, a ten k teleport. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. Am I strong enough to kill a red dragon now that I finished generation eight? Okay, so I got these two already. So I'll go here now. Do I have to do this at the on the other continents as well? Just there? Or just oh just on this continent? Okay. You get, uh, you get a journal entry called the Mana Tunnel Master. Oh, uh, will it pop up? Then I'll know that I've gotten all of them. It's gonna be like, it's literally like getting all the Crocs in Breath of the Wild. <laughs> oh my God. I was doing a 100K playthrough of Breath of the Wild couple years ago when I made it my goal to get all 900 Koroks in the game. Uh, don't recommend that. Don't recommend doing that. It's not worth it. Mentally and I guess technically physically in the game because you don't even get a good re reward for doing that. It's just a giant waste of time. Some of the puzzles, are, I guess, are cool, but after doing them, like, 500 times, they're not as cool. I didn't even bother. I, I wanted to do a 100% playthrough for Tears of the Kingdom. I was like, nah, I'm good. Breath of the Wild burnt me out in terms of 100%. <laughs> oh, I think I got this one. Slander, 100% worth it? No! Maybe more so in Tears of the Kingdom because, I don't know, you can get more easily. Hold on. Did I get these three? Okay. I'm going to start. I'm going to get, like, over here and then work my way down. Okay. <laughs> Slander. I saw this really funny uh, tweet. I think it was Zelda Gifford that posted it. But it's the Star Wars meme with Padme. Uh, and it's like, you're going to give me, you're going to take me to my friend, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, I, need, I need to get that link. Or get the link for that. It made me laugh. 
You're gonna take me to my friend, right? Right? <laughs> and she, they put like a Korok mask over her face. <laughs> I thought it was funny. Okay, this one. Never 100% any game in my life. Those of you that can do that and do it for like every game that you play, I applaud you, but like, how do you do it? How do you have the mental fortitude to do that? <laughs> Cause uh, gosh dang. I don't know if he got it from Sam somewhere if he made it himself, but it's funny. You're taking to my friend, right? We just bored and lonely. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got it. Only games I have 100% are the Xenoblade games. Not a bad collection of games. I would never 100% Xenoblade, though. I couldn't do it. After I beat a game, I'm done with it. I can't make myself keep playing it. That's kind of how I am. I think it's really hard for me to return to story-based games unless there's like some juicy DLC or story that they added. Like that's that's usually when I'm like, yeah, I'm coming back. But I feel like even that's kind of rare. That's just me personally though. No game is interesting enough for me to do that. Uh, some people like collect platinum trophies. You know how some people collect, I don't know, coins or mugs? Um, or collect other stuff? Some people collect platinum trophies. <laughs> I 100% Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2. I kept hearing rumors about Kingdom Hearts 4 news today no it was yesterday i kept hearing rumors about news i wonder if they meant from like the state of play is it are we gonna get kingdom hearts 4 news during the state of play you think that's possible personally i have no idea a few a few earlier final fantasy entries i you did 100 percent. i usually get to caught up in mini games to meet the time criteria a lot of games have for certain accomplishments. Ah, I see. I do 100% if it's a game I really like and it's not too much trouble or require beating cheap bosses or if it's a Zelda game. <laughs> Fair enough. No? <laughs> Minesweeper 2? What? Right, I'm, I'm working on it. We're almost there. At a certain point, a lot of game achievements uh, are just boring time dumps. Yeah, I think it depends on the game. I agree with that, though. I would rather just play another game. That's how I feel. Nothing bad if you want to 100% it, though. <laughs> Speggy! Oh, not achievements, though. Sorry, I was talking about trophies. But don't you have to, like, do the achievements to get the trophies? Or is that not how it works? Riveting gameplay content brought to you by Miss Kylie. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was told if I do this, then I'd have to spend money. And I want to try to save as much money as I can right now. Because I want to use my money for my fashion show that I want to do with the community. <laughs> Though it probably wouldn't even make it a little even a <laughs> dent, but it's fine. Gotta do this eventually. I want to get the title. I think that's another thing I want to do. I want to collect titles in this game. That might be really hard, though. Who's that? Oh. She has a cowboy hat on. Oh, 
Oh, you can 100% a game without getting all achievements. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you had to do all the achievements to unlock the trophy of the game. Okay, cool. Ooh. This is cute. Oh. They stopped it. What? Uh, all right, let's see. Which ones do I need now? Okay, we gotta go up now, up this way. What the heck, why did they stop the cute sound? Sometimes achievements require beating harder difficulties, for example, or doing silly, unnecessary things. I'll beat a game with all mission and side missions, 100% versus go down a particular road at a random point in the story to get a unique dialogue box for an achievement. Some games, trophies, achievements are just certain tasks to do, but don't equal 100%. Jeez. Human mark. What are the marks for? They've obviously got to be for something. What are the marks for, Eridus? There's a snake mark. There's a human mark. I don't know what the other marks are. Tree mark. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm almost done. Do I need to do this at the other continent, the smaller one? The Belfast one? Okay. Alright, which ones am I missing? Uh. Oh, I think these. These are the ones I'm missing. <laughs> There's an achievement for falling 100 feet. In which game? <laughs> They were for elf transformation quests. Oh, me turning into a giant purple bird. Oh, but I got that doing generation, what's that, generation two? Oh, wow has that. Oh. <laughs> Does this game have achievements? Like, I guess they do, but like, where are they? Am I done yet? Shoot. Which ones am I missing? Oh god. Which one am I missing? How do I know if I'm done? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I think there's there's one missing there. Oh, okay, hold on. Here, this one. Hi Tyler. This is the last one. Or not. Go to your journal under exploration. Wait, how do I go to my journal? Bottom right. Oh, here? Also, look, you can minimize this. I didn't even realize until recently. Uh, bottom right of your character. Oh! Oh. Ah! Mana, mana Tunnel Master? All done. Woo! I did it. <laughs> yeah, I got all the I got all the dots. Okay, so now I can talk to Blanid. Oh my god, and then I'll be 10k. Wow! Guys, I'm hitting an achievement. Hold on, let me summon Blanid. Are y'all sure there's nothing else I need to do before talking to Blanid?
Did I do the moon gates? I was told I don't need to do the moon gates. I, I asked if I needed to do those. Do I need to do these too? Hold on, let me... I don't. Okay, let me go to Dumbarton. Let me double check. Triple check. Quadruple check, even. Okay, Dumbarton music. Ah, uh, are you sure? Cause dungeon teleport is a thing. So Ulda is really easy to move around. Would it be e easier if I just did it now though? Cause it doesn't seem like there's that many. You could, I'll, <laughs> why not? Let's just do them all if I'm gonna do this. There's not as many dots anyways, so it's okay. If you don't rely on the dungeon guy, it could save you some grief later. Oh, I rely on the dungeon guy. <laughs> Alcohol? How did they place this here? We're hackers, do not apply. Oh, okay. Oh, geez. They admitted it. <laughs> is that why the stone is there? <laughs> huh? Why would they, why would they call themselves out? <laughs> they might remove it. Uh, sorry, what? They might remove what? Oh, the dungeon guide? I saw these little teleport icons on the other continent, so I think I'll do it on the other continent too. You think they will remove moon gates before they remove the dungeon guide? <laughs> but it's a part of the lore, isn't it? It's a part of the history of Dun of Mabinogi. I was gonna say Dunbarton. <laughs> oh, did I click on that right? If they remove moon gates, I am doomed. Why? Doomed. What lore? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe there's lore about the moon gates in some book somewhere. <laughs> Why are you asking me that? Or maybe it's in like G2562, not out yet. Or maybe it is out yet. That's pretty much how many how many generations we have right now, right? <sighs> They'll explain it eventually. Let them cook. There's so many places without dungeons. Have y'all done that mag dungeon? You know that really pretty fairy place? I was told it's a pet dungeon. What is, what is that? So I have to have like a high level pet to like do the dungeon for me? I never really got information on it and that's okay, but I'm asking now. I bet there's a book about moon gates. I bet there's a book too, there it is. <laughs> there's gotta be. Gotta read that Welsh mythology book for it. <laughs> the 40 hour book that takes 40, or wait, the book that takes 40 hours to read, apparently, according to that one guy. Uh, stop it. Ooh, winery. Cool. Uh, 
I have a Magmail hard pass if you want to try it. Is it fun? I'd imagine my pet sucks. <laughs> I haven't I haven't merged my fairy pets together yet cuz I for one I forgot how and two I kind of like having multiple pets. It makes me feel I don't know. Good. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Like, if, if one dies, then that's it. It can't protect me. But if I merge all... If I'm... If, or, wait. If I merge all of them, then it's only one that can protect me. If I don't merge, then it's four protecting me. You know what I mean? Basically, you have to have your pet fight some enemies. You fight the others and... Some you f you both fight together. How does that work? Do you like switch in? You do do you switch in between? You found the book? No, you didn't. <laughs> Read it to us. There it is. <laughs> is it that humans made the moon gate, or they were always there? I don't know. We gotta we gotta read the book to know. Let's see. Have you done the pet trainer quest line? Uh, with the girl, the, the girl, <laughs> I forgot her name. That one where you get like finny catching and all that stuff. Cause if so, yes. Oh, I did all, I did both of those. Okay. Uh, I guess there's none here. Oh, here's one. I'm doing good, Chrono. How are you? I'm about to hit level 10,000. And that's not a joke. All right. How do I know if I've gotten all of them now? Is there another title thing that I can know? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's 41. Yeah, okay, 41. Oh, are you giving me the book? <laughs> oh my god, it's called The Origin of Moon Gates. See, I know it, I knew it. Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Uh, what if I do, now that that's done, now that I'm assuming I got all of them here, what about here? Maybe I should get these too. Don't do Belfast. Wait, why not? Where's that book? How long is it? Not that bad. It lets you go to zones that are story locked and plays certain cutscenes. Oh, okay. All right, I'll go back to Dumbarton. <laughs> okay, I won't do that then. I don't want a cutscene to play. All right, now I talk to Blandon. He doesn't want his homestead pumpkin seeds? I'll take those. He's just running around dropping everything. <laughs> I feel that on, on a very, very big level. I'm so tired of keeping all the stuff I get from the fishing event. Uh, Avalon says, poor, all these places would have no direct ways to access without moon gates. Crom bass. Okay. All right. I will speak to Blanid now. <laughs> Hello, Blanid. 
level I've ever been in any video game ever. Wow, yay me. Yay us, chat. Yay us. Yay us. We hit that 10k mark now that everybody was talking about. Now what happens? I think I can hold more gold now, right? No, it's the same. <laughs> I thought y'all said I hold more gold. Oh, look, I got a talent. Talent coupon. Uh, you can talk to her a few more times. Oh! Wait, can I? Oh, yeah, you're right. Oops, is it bad that I didn't talk to her after I finished G7? Maybe it's okay. Just kidding, I'm 11k. <laughs> Complete G8 dragon. I guess what I have to do, wait, maybe that was G6. Should I click complete on this? But it's gonna show me a cutscene for G9, won't it? You haven't spoken to her since G3. She was lonely, I know, poor girl. <laughs> poor girl. Oh, thank you, Ty. <laughs> uh, I guess I could do it. I'll just click complete here. Let me turn the music on in case there's like music in the cutscene. Complete. Oh, there is music. The wings of a dead bird shall begin fluttering. The light will be consumed by darkness. Lovely. Oh, there's the gold dragon. Kylie, is the gold dragon also going to be in G9? You are bound to the soul stream by destiny. You must enter this shadow realm and prevent the soul stream's destruction. Oh. Okay. Fallen summons reach level 15. Check. <laughs> Wait, that's weird. Wait, like cumulative? Or do they mean like total level? Visit Tail Tian. Check. Okay, I have to talk to that guy. All right, well, that's G9, but we're not going to do G9 just yet. All right, now I, I thought y'all said when I hit that certain, a certain, or if I hit 10K, I get additional gold to hold. Or is that only in the bank? Won't you get charged for teleporting after 10K? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could have just not leveled, but I think it would have happened inevitably, so it's okay. But I'm probably going to get uh, VIP anyways, Jai, because <laughs> uh, I like VIP. Maybe, well, I'll see. But if I get VIP, I don't have to worry about teleportation costs. Uh, oh, relog. Okay, I mean, I am on channel 7. What am I? Oh, because of my homestead. That's right. There we go. I got a, what was that for? What is this for? Why? Is that for this? That's Tail Tian. Why is it letting me go to the front of Wrath Royal Castle? 
Yeah, over 10k and 13k, 12k now. Woo! <laughs> you can listen to this OST for days. I like it too, it's a bop. Your gold pouch will feel lighter if you teleport without a moon gate or a dungeon guide now. It'll be okay. There it is, 2.1 mil. You were right, Eridus. VIP is nice, yeah. I've had VIP. I might just keep it. We'll see. How much is VIP again? I think you got the Arcana Quest. Oh. What is that under? Oh. Oh. Hidden talent. You've gained the knowledge about the doppelganger skill. What? <laughs> what's, what's her preferred gem? I've given her so many gems. So let me go check on my homestead. Uh, open the spirit window. Hey, hold on. It shows when you summon her. Oh. A jade. Do I have to feed it to her? To give it to her? She likes a jade. What do I need to do to level this? A and B. I need more rank A finny gems. Yeah? Okay. Alright, let me feed her a jade. Only feed the minimal size requirement to clear the tet. Oh, uh, it said one centimeter. This is 10 centimeters. Okay, I think I'll be good. <laughs> oh, save the higher size jades for later. Oh, okay. What, what, what is it for a generation quest? Like my rainbow trout? But speaking of, I can finally drop this, right? I don't need it. <laughs> or wait, maybe I should sell it on the auction house in case somebody needs it. Unless, unless that's stupid. <laughs> There's probably already so many on the auction house. <laughs> How dare you drop it? <laughs> We're trying to get to level 13, guys. We're almost there. If y'all have any of those golden homestead sprouts, homestead golden sprouts, can I have them? I know they're probably worth money, and it's okay if you want to sell them, but I need to level up my homestead. <laughs> I would like to have them if you don't need them. All right, I need to read that book about moon gates. I'm gonna read this. All right, bedtime story, guys. <laughs> Are y'all ready? You get a lot of rank A from Albi Advanced Hard Mode. You know, I haven't been running a lot of Albi Advanced Hard Mode. Do y'all wanna go run some dungeons or something? I don't have, I don't have any past it. Or maybe I do. I take that back. I can use this one. Actually, I need to use this one. There we go. Otherwise, it was going to expire. <laughs> Alright, I have a pass. Y'all want to go run Albi Advanced Hard Mode? During the second war that happened in the field of Moitura, Zavakil, the evil wizard, used a spell that summoned the Moon Rock, which put unretraceable, retractable fear, unre... 
tractable fear upon the whole world. It was a spell that involves dropping the moon rock of Lerica, used using the power of Awaka. Numerous people collapsed and cried at the apocalypse-like disaster that was dropping from the sky, and every spot where the moon rocks landed burst into flames. Fortunately, Maris, the great hero, ultimately defeated Zavkiel. Otherwise, Zavkiel would have successfully put an end to civilization as we know it. After the war, while the reconstruction of towns were in full force, the druids discovered that the particles of Laetica found in different places during the war contained unfathomable amounts of mana on each of them. The scholars and druids then put together, or then got together, wondering what to do with this amazing amount of mana. After long hours, they came up with two solutions. One, return these rocks back to Lamika, Using the mana laden in the moon rocks, a reverse spell could result in these rocks returning to where it came from by connecting the moon rock to another one far, far away using mana. But this solution based on the wish that people want to remove all kinds of references to the traitor Zavkiel in the war was quickly shot down by the second solution that placed practicality on top. By utilizing the power to distort the space and distance through the mana emitting from moon rock, the moon rock could actually transport humans and items to other places. An experienced wizard can simply use a spell to utilize the mana and transport items and humans to other places where the moon rock may be found. Once the second solution gained traction, the wizards used teleport-like spells utilizing the mana from the moon rock to build what is now known as the moon gate. The moon rock connects with other moon rocks in the world at all times, allowing people to teleport to other areas with no regard for time or distance. To those about to use the moon gate today, remember one thing. This is how the moon gates came about. There you go. That's how. <laughs> Why do we have to pay gold? It's just a spell. Spells are free. Diagon Alley. Kind of like that, right? You have three expiring vet passes. What would y'all prefer to do first? Oh, also I need a Jade. I need a one centimeter Jade. Oh. Oh, what? Does anybody have a one centimeter jade? They're all ten centimeters. <laughs> the heck? Should I just use the ten centimeter one, Sarai, since there's none for sale that are cheap? There's a three centimeter one, but it's the same price as a ten centimeter one. What the heck? Uh, that is true. When we run Albi Advanced Hard Mode with people, I won't be able to get the rank A gems. <laughs> That's true. Because everybody kills everything, so I can never get the rank A gems that I need. That's the only, that's the only downside. Is there another way to get rank A gems that could be more plausible for someone like me? Are they tradable? No. You have 64 past selection bosses from the growth pack? Oh, then yeah, let's go. Let's run some dungeons. Let's make money. Orca, FN, y'all want to go run some dungeons? Yeah. <laughs> did you like me reading the book to you, Eridus? Or did you already read it? Fiode Int for werewolves? Oh, how do you get Int Pass for Fiode? I'm down for spam? Okay. It was information. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I'm gonna meet everybody at the dungeon. Do y'all have any tips on gearing? 
You're lost on what to do? Uh, in, um, hmm. And for gear, you're talking about, like, armor, right? And, like, accessories, right, Orca? You're wanting to mainly do, ma like, magic stuff, right? Copy my gear, except my chest piece. What is, what is your gear, Eridus? Mage, but I'm on a budget. <laughs> Zero enchants, only reforges. Okay. That sounds not too bad, but like, what is the armor? Is there a magician's outfit? Kind of like the bohemian, where it gives you like a set bonus for like mage. Oh, sorry, I'm not where I need to be, huh? Sorry. Come to, sorry. I'll be advanced hard mode. Armor can be done for either DPS, tankiness, support. Here, I want to save spots for Effin and Orca. Effin, Orca, come come hither. Stop playing Grand Blue, Effin. Are you playing Grand Blue? <laughs> Stop playing in Shroud and Orca. <laughs> come, guys. I'm just kidding. Um. Let's see. Fire Mastery Helmet, Ice Explosion, Range Gloves. There is special Elemental Harmony for Mage D DPS, but it's expensive. I just got I just got off and shrouded. Getting on Mavin now. Okay. Hey Eridus, do you think you would mind helping Orca get like a like a gear set that he can learn how to work towards without having to spend I say that because I know you're going to have to spend money, Orca. You're going to have to eventually. But maybe we have something that, like, starts you off. Something. Kind of like mine. Mine's starting me off. I'm slowly working on it. Right? <clears throat> but, like, it'll get there eventually. We can get him a demo staff. <laughs> he wants armor, <laughs> not a weapon. <laughs> But we do need to get him one, but yeah, TBD on that. <laughs> oh, what are you going for, Orca? I can help a little. I don't know what to buy. No clue. My weapon is already good. Yeah, I think that's the problem. Orca doesn't know what to get. And that's the hardest part. Hi, Spectro! Can, can Orca even focus on getting a demo staff? Oh, shoot. Hold on. One second, Orca. I accidentally closed it. Where's that fin? There's so many dogs barking. Can it, is it possible for him to work on a demo staff now? Orca, what's your, what's your cumulative level and what generation are you on? He needs to do, he needs to get to techs. Luckily, demo mats are lower by saving money. Okay. Is there something he can do now? Because that's going to take a while. If you really want a piece, a gear piece, focus on getting a lightning mastery or fire mastery hat. Okay. I'm on generation 13. Okay. Sarai, are, do you happen to be in our uh, Mabinogi Discord? I'm not talking about our... Um, my, it's, I'm not talking about my stream Discord, but like our Mabnogi Discord that we recently created. R recently created. Um, it's for guild members, it's for friends, anybody that's playing Mavi. I wonder if it would be easier if you could help, if you want, help Orca in that Discord instead. Um, because it might help writing it down, because this is temporary, it goes away, right? Uh, and maybe screenshots. 
I don't know. Elemental Harmony Suit is a cheap, good armor that will give good tank stats. 150k on the auction house. That's not bad. Okay, hold on. Where's FN? FN! Is FN coming? Hold, please. Um... I think he's busy right now, so I guess we can just go in, and then whenever he wants to pop up, he can. Okay. Uh, let's use my pass. Here we go. Let's go! Also, y'all don't have to worry. Don't worry about, uh, letting me kill the purple gem items. It's okay. Or whatever y'all said. It's okay. Just go. <laughs> I think I'd much rather uh, just finish the dungeon than having to get... I mean, obviously I want rank A Finny gems, but I'll have to just do it a different way. Because if I try to do it, it's going to take forever for me to kill them. These guys are tanky as heck. See, like, look. I do, like, no damage. Oh, wait. Those are easy. <laughs> Oh. That confused me. Oh, wait, let me get this stuff out. Though they are, they all do different things. I can't remember. I can't remember what I set them to collect up anymore. Hi, Madrona! Popping in while I take a break from chores. Oh, how are the chores going? Hopefully well. Make sure everyone gets credit. Yeah, we, we'll make sure everybody has a check mark. Don't worry. You mean a check mark, right? I do like no damage one shots it. <laughs> Some of them I do like no damage. <laughs> Some. <laughs> Maybe that's more on like the second floor. The first floor I do damage. <laughs> no, sorry, regardless, someone else can help. Okay, that's fine. I'm Eridus, I think, will volunteer. I think, Eridus, sorry if I'm speaking for you. <laughs> regardless, we'll figure it out, Orca. Uh, <laughs> apparently, I had a lot more laundry to do than I thought. Oh, that's me. I have to do some more laundry. I couldn't finish it all yesterday. Ooh. I'm chatting with him. Oh, are you? Okay. Got it. Got it. <laughs> thank you, Eridus. And thank you again, Sarai. <sighs> oh, creepy. Oh, I told Tom about the dream I had about how I had a dream of a fluffy little brown spider in my dream. In my dream, it was a spider that I knew wouldn't hurt me, but it was still creepy, and it was a pet. It was Tom's pet spider. He doesn't have one of those, but in my dream he did. And he, and the spider thought it was funny to harass me by like scaring me. And Tom was just laughing at me, freaking out about the spider in my dream. And it was funny when I was telling him about my dream, he started laughing. I go, and he goes, yeah, that's something I would do. He's <laughs> like, you jerk. How dare you? <laughs> I mean, he said, he, he, he was like, the spider wouldn't have hurt you, right? And I was like, no, but it freaked me out. <laughs> Dang it. I still want to remember the dream I had last night because it was crazy. Y'all would have found it amusing. Oh, so fast! I have a good feeling, guys. We're gonna get a broken magic essence, and that will be the reward for the fashion contest. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 
Y'all think we would be that lucky? What happened? You know, we never made the decision. What what do we do if somebody gets one? What do we do? See, like, I do no damage on these guys. What do we do? If one drops, what do we do? Y'all always say, like, we'll, we'll deal with it when it happens, but isn't the point to deal with it before it happens? So that we're not just sitting there like, Ugh. Not that it will, but don't want to jinx it. Make that the reward and I'll 100% fix that contest. <laughs> you get 50% for placing your vote. <laughs> They, oh, Orca, what do you think about, um, instead of us being the judge, the chat is the judge. How do we do that, though, if there's, like, 30 participants? Do, maybe we, like, drop it down to four people and then chat gets to vote for the winners? Or three people, maybe? Maybe that's how it is. Like, we choose three people amongst the 30, and then we let chat choose who's first, second, and third. I, I say I say three people because all three of them will win. Um, Because I feel like... I feel like I would be really sad if... The, if like, let's assume I was a part of the four and nobody votes for me. I don't, I feel like that would be sad, but at least three people, they would win no matter what. They'd win something no matter what. Does that make sense? I'm trying to not hurt people's feelings. I'm trying to put it in perspective. Same with five people, that means two people wouldn't get votes. I don't know, I feel, I feel bad. <laughs> and have chat vote, okay. Okay, DSS. I think that's what we'll do then. It's still gonna be hard choosing three people though. We're gonna need some kind of like score sheet to help us choose. And maybe, uh, what was this, Yvesu? Was it Yvesu or was it Orca? Some, somebody said that we have like a secret, like a secret scoring or something. Like they get bonus points if they do X, Y, Z. I don't know. But nobody knows what it is. Is that fair? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and it could be something easy, like they, uh, I don't know, have a certain color in their outfit, or they uh, use a certain pose or I don't know I can't I can't think of the I, I the options right now but that was kind of like in my mind did everybody get a check mark okay we did That sounds like Mario Party like rage inducing randomness. <laughs> is it is it is a bad is it a bad idea? <laughs> I won't do it then. Magic powder. Do we want this mangled Ravi dungeon pass? I don't want that pass, do we? There's a gem of valor, Orca. You need to pick up your items. You'll take it? Okay, hold on. Here you go. Oh, you're just joking? Give me a demo staff and I can guarantee you first place. <laughs> Orca! Is FN back yet? Evan is here. No, still not here. All right, who had the who ha <clears throat> who had more passes again? 
We'll probably do these runs until um, a state of play at 4, 4 p.m. CT. CT. Done. Okay. Oh, Switch, do you want to join since Effin's not here? Oh, wait. Two people left. Um, you can restore it to make a hard mode advance pass. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I have three unlimited vets. Okay, for this dungeon, or do we need to do we need to go somewhere else? Okay, there you go. I made you a leader. Okay, Nico. Any vet? Oh, okay. Do you want to go here since we're all here? Let me go, let me put some music on. We could, yeah, or Pekka. Uh, I don't know, does anybody have a preference? <laughs> I got one Albi vet as well. Uh... If you do Pekka, do you get like different rewards or something? I feel like they're all the same, right? Essentially the same, not all the same, but kind of the same. Um, I can get any pass I want. Hold, hold that, hold that, hold that for now. Don't, if we do use those, Ty, don't use too many just because I don't know how many runs we'll be able to do right now. Just because I have to leave at four, which is still a while from now, but still. Uh, Orca, get on the, get on the square. Are Pekka rewards more bussin'? I don't know, are they? <laughs> I don't open them until I need them. Okay, okay. How do you get them? <laughs> Why don't we go ahead and, and just do Alvi since we're here? Oh, the growth pack. Right, right. Oh, from the NX shop? Oh, you're not talking about the growth guide? Speaking of growth guide, I need to, I need to use this to get the, the coupon bag. Oh, shoot. Oh. Speaking of bag, I need to use this bag, but I don't know which bag to get rid of. I tried to use the broken, or the heart, not broken heart, unbroken heart bag, but it wouldn't let me because it said something about, like, you already have a personalized bag and I didn't know what it meant I was like what's a personalized bag oh it gives you a lot of growth materials oh interesting is that the same bag that gives you the green bag coupon tie or is that something different you were talking about earlier also what are we doing you can only have one personal shop bag how do you know what's a personal shop bag Oh, this one is. Oh, this one is. But this one's pretty big. This one's this one. What's happening? What are we doing? Oh, Albie Vet is in the next room. Oh, okay, right. Duh. Everybody to the action. To the other room, to the normal Alvi room. <laughs> nice robe. Here it is. The Tia bag is one of the best. The Rose Tia bag is really good. I forgot who gave that to me. Somebody gave that to me when I first started playing Mavi. I can't remember who because it was a lot of people at once when I started playing. It's calmed down since then. 
Um, I guess I should just get rid- maybe I can get rid of this bag. What is this bag? This one. Christelle doll bag. I could replace- get rid of this one. And then I could use this black bag coupon. And then I could use the green bag coupon. Wow, inventory for days. I don't know if I would want that much. Maybe that's a stupid thing to say. <laughs> Outclasses the... Oh, the... Okay, right. Okay, good. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, too much music. Again, first world problems. <laughs> yeah, I've already got really lucky getting the black bag coupon. Maybe I'll get another coupon and then I can just use it as like a reward for something. Like some future event or something. Maybe like a cool scavenger hunt. I want to do a scavenger hunt one of these days. I'm not sure exactly how to do it, but I want to do it. I think that would be so much fun. But I would need, I would need volunteers to do or to help me with the scavenger hunt because i think what i would want to do is like have people in certain spots around the world and you have to like solve a riddle or something to get to know where they are like where they're located and then you'd have to like bring them an item or something but the item would be like super easy like bring them 10 branches or bring them <laughs> one million gold <laughs> i was kidding <laughs> I would never ask that. Um, but just something like that. I don't know, I think it could be fun. Maybe I can make it like guild only because I feel like, I feel like that would be more fun as like an intimate event than it is like open everybody event. Maybe. Wait, did I? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> See, I don't do enough damage to these stupid bats. Freaking bats. I have too much gold. I have too much bag space. <laughs> First world problems. Okay. <laughs> but if you're doing the fishing event too, Jai, you can... Uh, you, you have the chance of getting, you have the same exact chance of getting a black bag coupon like I did. Everybody has the same chance. I'm doing it but I haven't gotten one yet. It's okay, it's rare. It's rare for a reason. I think me and one other person in the guild has gotten it. So, and that's saying a lot. There's like 40 people in the guild. Mm. You got two igloos? You can sell the, the ones that you don't need. Also, I didn't realize that sitting in the fishing chair gives you... I don't know what it gives you. What did Ronnie say earlier? It gives you a higher success chance of catching fish? Something like that. I've gotten the non-tradable title multiple times. Oh, this one? <laughs> yeah, what do I do with it? Do I just drop it on the ground? I can't sell it because it's untradable, but like, what else do I do with it? Give it to an alt or something, maybe? So it's worse for the event? What, wait, what do you mean it's worse from the for the event? <laughs> it's 
so much is going on. Okay, let me turn this down. Doesn't need to be that high. <laughs> oh, the chair, if you catch more regular fish. I think, no, I don't know. I'm assuming it just means higher chance to catch a fish with your bait. Not necessarily what fish you catch, but I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's just higher success. If, if you AFK fish, which most with which most people do, um, you're not actively doing the mini game, so the chance of you losing bait is probably a little higher. I honestly don't know. I haven't really checked. But I don't have time to sit there and do the mini game 130 times. Nor do I want to. Automatic, automatic fishing and fail. The chair lowers the chance to fail. There we go. Okay. So I guess sit in those igloo chairs while you're fishing so you have higher percent chance. I need to do that. I didn't even know. I didn't even know to do that. I thought it was just for style. <laughs> Extra style points. Apparently not. Oops. We already got the boss key. Um <laughs> but yeah, I'll have to I'll have to do that. I have what I could do, Jai, if you want. Um whenever I set up AFK fishing. Well wait, you should just use your igloo chair, never mind. I guess I'm talking to people that don't have a chair. Um, I have a two-person cedar chair. You can always just sit in my chair. But you have to be in my party before you can sit in my chair, though. But I wonder how that... No, 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 it works. Never mind. You just have to cast fish. Oh, the only other thing I really want from the fishing event now is that elephant. Because then I will have collected all of them. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys, is the homestead stuff stack? Like, can you, if you get two huskies, can you put endless amount of huskies in your homestead? Or is it like only one per? These spiders are so tanky. Oh, it died. It picks the highest stat thing at the main one. Smoldering. You can place as many as you want, but you only get the stats once. Oh, okay. So it's best to just have one of each and then just sell the rest. I haven't had that issue, but. All right. Uh, what do y'all want to do? Do y'all want to do another vet pass or do y'all want to? Oh, more? I am assuming everybody wants to do it again. Switch, come on the square. There you go. We have one more spot for somebody if anybody wants to come. Oh, uh, there was one thing I I saw on Twitter while I was eating lunch today. I really liked it. I retweeted it. But um, Final Fantasy Seven, their Twitter account did a little... They're a part of the Seize the Awkward campaign, which, oh my god, that was... That was something that I did when I was working as an intern for the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Um, which is kind of crazy seeing that. I was like, whoa, flashback. But they made like a super cute video. Let me show y'all. Life's daily battles are not meant to be fought alone. We're not powerless. So long as we don't lose sight of what's important. Don't be afraid to seize that moment to talk to your friends. Cloud, you okay? Because checking in on a friend can create a safe space. Oh, 
the first loud. step on our new journey. Sorry. You Maybe coming? Was loud. Reach out to a friend about their mental health. Seize the awkward. It's totally worth it. I love that. I love it. I and I saw that Final Fantasy VII did something, and I was like, wait, that actually fits like really well with their campaign. <laughs> Um, I thought that was really cute. They like use like little like moments. Sorry, that was loud by the way. <laughs> um, they use little moments to um, uh, in the in the game to like help craft that message, which I thought was cute. But yeah, it's basically just like a mental health. Uh, like remember to check up on your friends. Sees the awkward as in like, don't let awkward conversations get in the way of like being a caring person to both your family and your friends like don't let that be the reason why you can't talk about really hard conversations sometimes um it's a really it's a really cute campaign and and when i saw that i was like whoa like that was such a long time ago when i was doing something with them <laughs> so i was like wow now i need mental help sorry do you need me to seize the awkward giant talk? <laughs> Sorry it was loud. Tifa could scream it in my ear and I'd be okay with it. <laughs> oh god. Oh wait, speaking of Tifa. Okay, this might be loud too. Let me make sure it's not. Hold on, hold on. Did y'all see? Hold on, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. Alright, hold on. Hold, hold on. Just hold on. Let me turn it down. Tifa! What? Cloud. Tifa! Want some of this? Tifa! Come get some. Tifa! Tifa! Want some of this? Tifa! Tifa! Ben! That's right. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he did like a really short... <laughs> Freaking love Ben Star, man! He's the voice actor of Clive in Final Fantasy 16. I don't know if you guys have seen some of his freaking things that he's made um they're just like funny little skits he's been doing them and that's the latest one. <laughs> <coughs> oh dang it i need a check mark hold on i'll work i've been i've been sharing too much stuff oh we ha we still have a hole downstairs oh, okay we're good oh freaking funny yeah a certain va how did you know yeah tifa <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, man. Ugh. But yeah. Um, I wondered, did Elmo... Cause I don't know if you guys have noticed. Uh, it's been, like, pretty popular. But Elmo was... Elmo's Twitter account did, like, this nice message of, like, how is everybody doing? And then everybody just trauma-dumped on Elmo. It was, like, a big thing. But I wonder if Elmo is a part of the Seize the Awkward campaign, too. Thanks, Madrona. Thank you. <laughs> Wait, there's a Mabby stream in 30 minutes? Wait, what? Wait, what? Are you sure, Fed? I don't... Oh, yeah. Join community manager Arcelia for a fun and casual Mabinogi stream filled with art and gameplay. Join us on our Twitch TV channel Wednesday, January 31st at, oh, 5 p.m. Oh, I won't. I won't be here. RC is going to be drawing on stream for the first time, so stop by and make suggestions or play along. There may be a little activity with some giveaways if you join in too. Oh, that's cute. Cute. I wonder if they'll be live and I can like send them a raid. Because I'm going to be watching the state of play, but the state of, excuse me, the state of play ends at 440. I mean, we could like chill and hang out for like 20 minutes until they start their stream and then send them a raid. Not that they need one, but... <laughs> Like, it doesn't hurt, right? You can stall. Okay. 
Did they announce it? Uh, they did. They announced it on Monday. I guess I didn't see it. I didn't get any notifications for it. <clears throat> so are they playing Pictionary? Oh, Pictonogi. <laughs> Wait, how did... That's kind of cute. So she just draws something and the chat has to guess what it is. Is RC an artist? I cannot draw to save my life. That's kind of cute. It's just like a fun little event. <laughs> no one called me to tell me. Well, now you know. <laughs> now you know. I wonder what giveaways they'll do. I want to win a giveaway. I'm really bad at guessing, though. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we got the boss key. Hmm. I haven't drawn anything other than pixel art in ages. Your pixel art's amazing, Jai. Jai did our little logo for our guild. <laughs> it's great. Pixelated. Okay, you know, I don't do like any damage on these spiders, so like, what's the point? I guess it adds it up. I just like push them farther away from you guys, so I feel bad. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. <laughs> I got an aquamarine. If y'all get any jades, let me have them. One centimeter, please. Keep your 10 centimeters. I don't even know if you even get one centimeter from the fishing event. I don't even know if I got this jade from the fishing event. I'm assuming I did. You can't run like this. It's too many people. It's making me lag. Oh. Sorry about that. I don't know if one centimeter even exists. Well, there's a three centimeter. Three centimeter exists. But it's the same price as a 10. See right here, three centimeter. <laughs> it's the same price. Um, yeah, let's do one more, Eridus. Thank you for the runs I got AFK. Okay, seems like Tyler and Ty have to sit out because it's too laggy. Or well, Ty, it's too laggy. <clears throat> I'll trade you my jade for your tourmaline. My what? Oh, this blue one? Yeah. Sure. The ascension gems from vet dungeons are higher centimeters. Uh, really, one centimeter can come from metal. Oh, <gasps> really? Because I actually need to rank up metallurgy. I finally, oh my god, I didn't show, I didn't tell you, I finally got that gold ore. You have to get like a gold ore fragment to even get to rank F metallurgy. It's so annoying. But I, I managed to get it, so now I can start ranking it up. <laughs> it's so annoying. I was like, why didn't they make it like an iron ore or something more achievable? It took like an hour. I think over an hour, which honestly isn't too bad, but. My spirit likes those. Of course, my spirit would be bougie. 
Is it random what your spirit likes on a day-to-day -day basis, or is it always just one gem? Because I feel like I never see jades. So maybe mine is bougie as well. <laughs> what happens if you feed it something that it likes, though? Does it just level up more? Oh, it's always the same? Uh, what do you mean it's always the same? Oh, extra experience? So I guess it's like a random roll. Wait, this key wasn't the blue key? What is, what is your uh, spirit weapon's favorite then, FN? Oh, each weapon has its own gem likes. Oh, okay, so my Baffle Bow likes Jade, I guess. Jade equals Bow, Tourmaline equals Staff. Oh, okay, yeah, give me the Jade and I'll give you the Tourmaline's, Orca. Oh, I see, I see. Me and F need the same thing, right, because y'all both use staffs. Gotcha. Gun is a tanzanite. Uh, oh, okay. I was told that we can get multiple um, spirit weapons, but I don't think that was, that's worth for me. That's worth it for me at the moment, since I don't, I only really use my baffle bow at the moment. Though I will be leveling up magic soon. S soon, TM. I want to do alchemy first. <laughs> and in order to do alchemy, I have to go through generations. Luckily, I am now on generation 9, so there's that. <laughs> the beginning of generation 9. Is it really that bad? Pink Sapphire's Alchemy? Who knows? Maybe I'll really like Alchemy. The only time I see people using Alchemy is to do Rain Clouds. It's really easy. I guess I'm not I'm not talking about the easiness factor, Eridus. I'm talking about the, the length and the story. <laughs> like, I like Generation 7 and 8. I, I, I liked, I liked the concept of that, and I don't, and it wasn't even because it was short. Granted, I like that too. <clears throat> I'm talking about, like, the story. Like, I like love stories. I like it. It doesn't have to be a love story, though. Gen 9 has been my worst so far. I felt like it slugged on. It took forever. <laughs> Eridus says, it isn't that long. <laughs> Are you can compare are you comparing it to like generation like one and three or <laughs> Ooh, purple key? Oh my god, three key rooms back to back to back. Eridus doesn't read. What do you mean? Well, okay, that's the other thing. I wonder if it didn't feel that long because like Y'all don't y'all didn't have too much to catch up on, so maybe it wasn't a lot back then. Maybe. Does that make sense? Like since there was no new content out, all you had to do was just focus on generation nine. So then you read that and it didn't take that long. So then when generation ten came out, same thing. But to me it's like like oh, oops. This is a lot, right? This is a lot. It's a lot. I like the fish cult and the evil dragon. It will take you a few hours if you read it all. Oh, only a few hours? Okay. G12 is where I got stuck for a while. Wait, why G12? Wait, when is... When, oh, G12 is a part of the alchemy one too, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, it's the last one. Return of the hero. Ooh. So many heroes in this game. Ooh. Alchemy has different damage 
render so armor and defense doesn't affect alchemy damage uh and mp hp stamina stats give alchemy damage hmm. yeah i don't know anything about alchemy besides the rain thingy and then y'all said something about um fragmentation and then <clears throat> i think that's all i know about alchemy I never see anybody actually using alchemy. It's always just like other things. Or maybe y'all are using alchemy, but I just don't really see it or really understand it. <clears throat> you have problems with reading? I was at high level back then. Oh, okay, I see. Heroic heroes doing things heroically. <laughs> Alchemy is more utility, but it's far, far into the future. What do you mean? Like there's going to be an update in the future for Alchemy? Is that what you mean? Late game Alchemy is cray, <clears throat> like crazy good. Alchemy is where you use golems to attack, right? So it's kind of like the puppetry thing. Or is that or is that something different? Alchemy doesn't have arcana yet, so it isn't used all that much. Ah. Oh, but eventually it will have arcana. Okay. Cool. Maybe I can play. Maybe I can be here for when that happens. And then I'll have all of my alchemy skills ranked up in time, maybe. Assuming I like alchemy. I like, I like being an archer, not gonna lie. I like this. <clears throat> Coming up with heroic plans. Hi, Jeremy. <laughs> Hi, nerds, I'm back. <laughs> oh, wow. Alchemy sharpshooter needs alch needs alchemy. What do you mean? Oh, I guess they meant to say like alchemy on its own doesn't have arcana. And sharpshooter is alchemy plus archery. Alchemy is kind of like puppetry. It needs a lot of work to make it OP. Arcana also is overshadowing a lot of former meta builds now. Interesting. <clears throat> that felt faster. Is it because we have less people? <laughs> I'm back. I'm nerd. <laughs> you need a grandmaster alchemy soon if you want range. Yeah, I'll definitely work on that. That I'll just I'll work on it all. All of it shall be worked on. Yee. Oh, there was one thing. I was doing a Tara Bank part-time job, and, like, the Discord kind of explained it, but Gerg? What's Gerg? Like, so y'all said it was a raid, but, like, <clears throat> is it... I saw a lot of people. It was. It's in a main, apparently. <laughs> I only know about it because... Uh, when I was doing a Tara Bank part-time job, they were like, oh, I'm doing a GER grade. And I was like, okay. And he's like, come, come to where the GER grade is. And I was like, what's that? <laughs> so he had to explain that it was, it was behind the bar in a main. GER, oh, the raid. Oh, there's an enchant scroll. Gurg Gashi, AKG19 Crusader Boss Raid. Oh, okay, so it's G19. What was the one? This one, right? Tourmaline? Okay, thanks, Orca. <laughs> oh, it's unlocked in G19. Is that fun content? Is that fun? Is that a fun thing to do? Raids sound fun. Stop giving me your fish! Stop, Orca. Damn it. Darn it. <laughs> you made me say a bad word. 
All right, let me drop this. <laughs> Stop it. All right, hold on. I need to feed my bow this gym. There you go. Complete. For the fish cold. <laughs> Eagle points plus one. Oh, shoot. I forgot to ask about this. When this, when these points are maxed, should I not be leveling it up? You can get mats for baffle stuff. Oh, that's what you do. That's why you want to do gurg, is to get baffle bow stuff. No, Jeremy, we're family friendly. That was my bad. You should be using them. What happens if I accidentally didn't pay attention and I might have been leveling it even though this was capped? Does that mean my spirit bow is my spirit weapon is ruined? Thanks for coming, Spectro. I'll wait for a Mabby stream. I mean, we have, y'all still have like an hour. Don't watch her old YouTube videos. Don't catch me on Discord <laughs> when I'm not streaming. You can't ruin it, but, but, but what if it's cat? An hour? Yeah. I miscalculated. I'm assuming I'm right. Hold on. Hold. Hold, Spectro. So this is the Discord. Yeah, so this changes at your, like, when you highlight over it, it shows you, like, your time zone. So at 5. It's currently 4, almost 4 p.m. Almost. So... One more hour. What do you mean it capped? Uh, like, say it's 54 out of 54. And then I'm like, la, 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 la. Oh, God. La, la, la. Feed, feed, feed. La, la, la. La, la, la. Leveling, leveling. When you level it, it goes to, oh, it just gets higher. So you'll never miss out of skill point or ego points I don't think I trust myself with a uh not on eerie oh okay other spirit weapons have that but eerie will just keep going up What? Hi, Piano. I've been good. How are you? You'll only miss skill points if you don't have Spirit Weapon Bond at 100%. Yeah, but Eerie, you don't have to worry about the bond. She can hate you and she'll still help you. <laughs> I guess I was mainly talking about ego points. So if I have 54 out of 54 and I level it up, It'll go to 55 out of 55. If I level it up, it'll go to 56 out of 56. Correct? Is that what you're saying, Eridus? You can't mess up, Eri. Okay. I do not trust myself with another spirit weapon then, because I will mess that one up. Because <laughs> I never remember to do the bond i never remember that and i never remember to do the points <laughs> ever i don't remember also i don't even know what i'm getting i'm going down this lane should i keep should i keep going down this lane i have a baffle bow so i don't need the ultimate bow just remember level 49 is the danger zone what Danger zone. Yeah, you're right, Rhea. We're going to watch the state of play. Just always get to 100 before you feed. Just get in the, in the habit. Uh, 
Yeah, I'm not sure either if I'm going to go to TwitchCon piano. Is it because of... It's just so expensive. But it's also in California this year, which is better. Go full left. Okay. Apply. What gems do you need? I'm running out of space. Any and all gems if you want. If you, if you don't want them, Jai. You don't have to worry about messing it up until level 49 for any that aren't eerie. Oh. So you can really mess it up with before. Level 49 is such a random level, but okay. Interesting. Do you, Orca FN, do you have another spirit weapon? Or do you only have eerie? Why do gems not stack? Tell me about it. I don't know. That would be awesome if they stack. 